Hello and welcome back to Roll Call. Roll Call. Roll Call. Call Thank you guys for being here and you know coming back to watch us goof around and play Dungeons and Dragons on another Friday night. Um, before we get into it, we are going to be one player short. Uh, Where? Right. As you see, there's only three people on camera, unless Hannah somehow went invisible. Technically four. I meant on you guys. I don't count. Um, so, math. Before we get into or the recap a little bit, I'll let Tristan take it away with upcoming news. All right. Last week we had on Wednesday or Monday was the post of the last session. Wednesday was detention about wizards. <laughs> Such many wizards. Friday was Roll for Bluff, where we talked about uh, the Gollum Gauntlet. Uh, where we talked about our last session and all the golems and explodey things that we talked about. And that brings us to today, where we're playing. That means Monday, we will be uh, posting the video of this session on YouTube. Wednesday will be detention. This time, talking about them woodsy people. Druids. Mm, druids. Yes. And there's I've been playing too much Skyrim. I thought what elf. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wrong thing. That's nah. a race, not a class. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, so I was like, oh, I've been on Skyrim too much. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> druids will be the topic of detention uh, this coming week. Uh, Thursday will be the roll for bluff about this session, and then we'll be playing again on Friday. Oh, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, honestly, why not? Yes. This yeah, upcoming Friday is fine. It's the 16th. The 16th be will be, be a... Off yeah, so that should be... Check. Yeah, just as a heads up, the 16th will be a uh, performance check, not an episode of Roll Call. This is where uh, Sam and Brandon and maybe Zeke will be uh, playing some other video games and... We'll do things. Do some we'll stuff. do something as a group. I'm totally addicted to Skyrim if you want to play. No, that's my job. I'm totally addicted. <laughs> I'll so, say Skyrim is Sorn's adventure. <laughs> it's Lay Haunted. It's like other bits now. We're not remaking it. Yeah, We're not remaking over. another character. That's not happening. <laughs> so I actually have mods for that. Okay. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get back into it. So, when we last left off, the group, after a hard-fought <coughs> a few hours, had began their journey to the Ramhorn Mountains, off to the west of Dramic where the White Talon base awaits at the base of the mountain, and Yangu and his forces are somewhere deep within the center of the mountain range. The group has a rough idea of who is going where and who is going with whom. They do know that this will be a long travel because of the sheer amount of people with them. They will not be able to move quickly. But we last ended our session the group was all sleeping away in a cart, a second in the row, with Francesca leading the way. Cart, sweet cart. <laughs> it's a big ass cart, so I'd hope so. That's, that's like a limo cart. That's what I'm thinking. It's gotta be big enough to hit my giant ass. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Isn't Jeroen in there too? Or is he riding? I thought he said Jeroen was with us. Yeah, Jeroen's probably walking. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna he prefers to walk. Big. So I'm gonna sleep like I'm spread out. Mm -hmm. Just like, I'm right next to you. Like, <laughs> somebody's probably got a hand in their face, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Leon's just sitting on the back of his feet, dangling out of the back of the cart. <laughs> I'm asleep. I remember I had fatigue. I was like low health. That's health. true. Oh, you that's actually, right. I was that's right. You out. actually have to sleep for. I blacked out. out. Like I got in the corner, <laughs> and then I'm like just cuddled. Against the wall, I guess. I don't know. Just in fetal position. Sucking my thumb. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Francesca is, you know, leaving the cart, doing her thing. You guys are taking a full long rest, so everyone takes a long rest. Mm -hmm. You wake up. You left um, early in the evening. So you wake up. Technically, you wake up after eight hours. You wake up early in the morning. We'll say about 4 a.m. Francesca's still going. I was thinking of asking if she wanted to rest, but I realized I'm not proficient in like, vehicles. At hey, all. Francesca. <laughs> yes? How are you doing up there? I'm doing all right. Do you, yeah. do you need to take a, a rest or anything? You've been, you've been going, going quite a while. No, I'm I'm fine. I can do a few more hours. You sure? Like to uh, commiserate between you. 
means disgust. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she doesn't look just... Uh, just, just let us know. I mean, don't you, don't want you doing all the, all the work on us. <laughs> it is my job. Sent by my god. Cal's like in the back mocking her. It's really good. I'm low key snickering. After all, rash. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was really thinking that. I was like, <laughs> that's funny. I mean, everyone's awake. Liren's looking at you guys like. So we're really doing this, huh? I mean, I don't yeah. think we have much of a choice at I this point. I was going to say, do we really have any, like, plan of how we're going to go about this? Man, I was really hoping this would be a fever dream. Me too. Yeah, it really matters. But it's like the was, longest fever dream ever. I mean, but if it was a fever dream, it would be really sad because we wouldn't be friends. Right? Yes. <laughs> I would, for one, would be quite disheartened. I mean, you never know where the future Roll could have held us. Deception. <laughs> At this point, it should be a performance check. Not 20. <laughs> See if she... Nope. That's why I said performance. I mean, it's in the past at this point, so... I mean, it, we're, like I said, we're just kind of stuck in this... It's either we don't do this or we die in a week. I mean... Or a few weeks. Yeah, die later. Death might die be a nice now. relief. Yeah, but at least we're, we're the only upside is that we're actually trying to be proactive. It's not like other people who have so proactive bailed death. on us. Right, dying on our own terms. Yeah, yeah. makes it sound I like <laughs> you're <here's> good. <laughs> mm. On your own terms. <laughs> I can do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> that'd be so funny and so sad. Right. <laughs> Alright, Leon chance. has left the party. <laughs> Jeroen, you just hear Jeroen chuckle a little self. He keeps walking. No word for Jeroen. Not responding. Yeah, 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 not responding. It's, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> so, are we going to try to convince... Um, Town. Okay, so the White Talon is a group of bandits, bandits, thieves. Oh. They're, they're the mob. <laughs> they uh, they 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 tend to you know pressure people into uh, you know protection money. Um, so they they were a problem at one point, but uh, as of recently, they've been a little bit more. Uh, they've been swayed to lessen their ways in some of the towns so they at least know us and we've helped them to some degree uh so our goal is to talk to them and try to convince them that the problem in the mountains is much more important than not dealing with it <laughs> oh yeah. and also we gotta find a way to get them to make an agreement with the postman yeah that's true but I'm not as worried I, about that. I mean, I post, think. I mean, the head I think man. with our charm, it should work. You should not talk to them. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> not wrong. I think it's just about what's the phrase? Um, making them an offer that they can't say no to. I, I mean, mean, protection. At they're this point. at a mountain with a they're probably demon lord and his forces. I don't question, see why they with would. With my background, them. do I know anything about them? No, okay, because they they haven't, they haven't dealt with them. Okay, just wondering. They're, I would imagine they're much further out of your territory. Well, I was just wondering if I took any assassin contracts with them. No. Nope. Okay. They only handle their own business. Yeah. <laughs> Loki kind of like this group, but you know, understand. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I mean, with the postman wanting them to join them, I have to imagine they will offer them a substantial amount of money for doing pretty much what they already do. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine they'll say... What if things go wrong? Well, the postman made it quite clear that they're ready to kill them all. Okay, so it's no yeah, question. Yeah, no need to worry. All right, then. It'll be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Can you roll a perception check? Yes, I can. That is 25. All right. So oh, that's really good. While you're talking, you hear uh, the... It's it, even though it's dirt outside, you hear the reins of horses. You hear the clinking of metal off to your right. Not ours. I'm gonna like sort of poke out like, of the back of the cart. 
Okay. Look off to the side. With your dark vision, so dark out. Yeah. You see uh, lights. You see some dim uh, torch lights, and you see some people uh, uh, heading towards you. Do I get an estimate of how many? It's about five. About five. Do you share that information? Hmm? Yes. So I'm going to share that information. Do you hear uh, that as they get and closer? I'm also going to share that information with Jerome. I say, can we mm-hmm. see? Like, I'm going to lean up and tell Francesca that, hey, that's a, <laughs> we got some uh, some lights some, coming up from the side here. Some, uh, <laughs> is that code for something? You feel like over? Oh, yes. I see them. What of them? Do, do you know who they are? I mean, at this point, with this big of a group, I mean, it'd be anyone... really foolish to attack. Yeah. Yes, but. But that would be to let you know. If anything does attack, it will be on you. Um. We have agreed to lead the battalion at full strength. So if anything attacks, we will help how we can, but we will not risk the lives of our units Oops. for things on the road. Fair enough. So, uh... Should I call out to them? No. They, they, by this time, they roll up and you say, you hear, HALT! In the name of the king! Oh, son of a... Oh, crap. Is this a bad thing? <laughs> I've never dealt with the mm-hmm. king or his Francesca mind. goes, um, do I stop? Yeah, yeah. I, I think at this point we probably should, unless if you want to become public king. enemy number one. She starts to slow. Um, you see her cast a message forward. Mm. They slow down as well. Everyone in like a train. Please disembark your, cam- your, your, your carriages. Your vehicles. Okay, and I say, let's just, all of us just kind of handle this. As you look out, they are wearing um, full plate, but it is golden with a large in, um, blazing sun into the, the center of their um, chest piece. Okay, what's your charisma? Uh, plus four. What's, oh, yours plus four? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool, same. Yeah. You both are multi class into charisma based classes. <laughs> That's right. Anyways. Please, immediately. Okay, yeah, we're, I'll, we'll get, get out of the I'll, cart, yeah. but right. I'm going to walk behind. What is your business oh, yeah, actually. here? <laughs> we are traveling towards the, uh, the Ramhorn Mountains. For what purpose? Uh, we are going to see... Uh, to seek the ancient civilization, the archaeological site, the base of the mountains. Is there a problem here? We've been sent to check in on the White Talon and their commercial trade. And you seem to be heading straight for them in a very large battalion. So I am suspect of your true motives. Why would you need this many people with this many arms to go into a long dead civilization? As you, 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 you can't see it, it's dark. I, even though with the torch like he, he has a full knight's like helmet on so oh. you can't see him um, he's sitting on top of a, a large war horse damn should we tell on him? his side on the horse's side is a full um, lance oh that's cool yeah old school okay so I'll ask again what are you going for I mean that is we are going for the civilization uh, we are in hopes of Finding more about the uh, the legends that are told of it, um, we are. Is that your sole purpose? I mean, that's Sorn's sole purpose is to get there. That's my sole purpose. <laughs> deception, yeah, still deception. That's your maybe your yeah, but you know you it. know more than you you're going, but twenty one, nineteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're taking this many people for what? Like you said, uh, what's it? What's that town? White Talon. The White Talon are in the area, in the shady business. So you can never be too sure. And I think there are a group here that may want to strike some sort of contract, and they might just be right. Like, I don't really know. We're just oh. we're all separate. What group? I don't. That's a little mix up. It's a group of people. Just Jesus to, Christ. Everyone's riding, not really together. Just safer <sighs> together. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, just safer. So you've thrown so many words at this guy. He's you're like, exactly. Me, you're telling me 
that you all are happenstantially going towards the same location at the same time in the same road, and you decided to band together for safety. I mean, that's how we met you guys here, right? It's kind of con- um, coincidental. Everyone's just uh, meeting. We're, I mean, we are sent to patrol this area in the name of our King Bartholomew himself. Mm-hmm. Well, you yeah, know, we're just going exploring. Someone else is going to do something else. It's, it's just safer in numbers. Can I do a history check to know roughly how far the capital is? Oh, yeah. That be I was going to see if one of you guys were going to do an insight check. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about it, but I was like, 20 not now. Will we get any it is a long way. These people probably have not had many orders from them any time recently. They have been sent on this journey for a long time. <laughs> but they do seem to be who they say they are. <clears throat> I'm just going to say, they how? Have a royal crest. That could be forged. You guys are quite far from... Yes, we are the... Battalion of uh, surveillance. Ah, and you're surveying hmm? this Shall we tell them? area? We're surveying the White Talon, to be specific. We have been monitoring their actions. Um, looking at you, um, Christine, you see a uh, smaller elf uh, hop off a horse. She's wearing, she still has armor, she has chainmail on. Very regal as well. Gold, white, silver, same emblem of the sun. Uh, it's a more... Price is on. It's more... Um, the sun looks more Renaissance era. It doesn't have an expression on it, but it's very um, like Renaissance style art for the sun. Mm-hmm. And it is... Um, if you were to look at if where it would be, it wouldn't be at full noon. It would be more at like 2 or 3. So it's off to the side in this emblem. Um... Yes? What, what do you need? Didn't we hear reports of a s- group of strange individuals w- investigating with the gr- White Talon? Um, let me check. Um, if you could bring your, your torch a little more down. Thank you. Group of strange individuals. Yes. Um, but he's investigating it, with the White Talon. I know. It's going to make sense. <laughs> seems... This is just racist. Um, she leans in. Perception? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all saw that. No, to hear. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is them. <laughs> uh, 19. They match the description. He goes, hmm. If you wouldn't mind making camp here for the night. I do would like to discuss some things with you. Don't you guys have like a paper with like someone important signed it that says it's okay for us to be who we are or something like that? It was like from the post. You <laughs> no, know you're right. About. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, well, maybe, mm, not again. Can't talk. None of your characters are thinking about that. Well, I was originally, you, I was originally you, whispering you it. Didn't, well, you're right in front of them. Well, your character's like, wait, we got a... Uh... He's distracted. I just say okay, yeah. Then I'll just say like, yeah. I think we have like a paper saying that we're allowed to. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, you have it, don't you? As I say, I sure hope the law did not have that. Uh, give me a second. I mean, well, if anything, whatever paperwork you have can be addressed after you make camp here for the night, or for the morning. We have questions for you. Leaving now would be an affront to the crown. We would sure hate to a front or a rear or a side the crown. Are you sassing me, Michael Starhaven? No. I don't even have to say that out loud. <laughs> 19. I was trying not to laugh at the name. Nat 20. I'll take that side remark as you're saying yes, and if you were to dare say anything other than yes to anything I say, I will take it as treason and have to take payment. Yes. Good. Yes. Arthur, if you would, you see an old man slide off of his horse. (laughs) I'm terribly sorry if you could... If you individuals could make your camp over here. Yes. Within a ten foot area, if you would. 
Yes. <laughs> Cal hating this. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Cal's loving this. <laughs> so you're gonna make camp over there. Francesca's yes. gonna go. Um, if you if you'd let me, I'd like to go tell the rest of the um. That's caravan. Fine. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fine. As you wish, my lady. And she backs off, and you see her going around telling people. <laughs> After a little while, you hear Jerun stay silent this entire time. Yeah. Devin walks over and goes, I'm the fucking cops, and you got the cops cops. What kind of shitty luck do you guys have to get my cops around us now? They're not around right now. They're just talking, so you're, you're safe within your little tent thing. <laughs> Oh, we just have bad luck. At yeah, no thing. I can't do. I can try and have some say, sway with yeah, them. Is there anything that we could do? Me personally, probably not. This is going to delay us probably half a day. But why do they want to talk to you? From what I could pick up, they think we're working with. I forget the name again. White Talon. That's White a Talon. long story. We kind of made an arrangement between the. Okay, okay, and plan and the Sonderheim. So White no, Talon. it was between wanna... the White Talon were. Uh, working with Sonderheim. Right. So, as far as you guys struck that deal, Jeb said he did it. Jeb technically did. It was a while we ago. We were present. My did, you, a little... did you have any part in the negotiations? I'm trying to help you because they're police officers and they're going to be asking you questions. Did, did no, he, Jeb, no did, did, Jeb was the one that came up with the idea and everything. I did I, I did, did he? No. But we didn't have any negotiations. Right? You didn't have any part in making the thing right. I don't no. know. I don't think so. That was the tournament. No. Okay. Well, you guys had a one-on-one yeah. battle. Not you. They had one-on-one battles. And if you guys won, they would make a deal with the um, town. Yeah, so, I guess, technically. Okay, be more specific with that. I mean, we, we kind of had, like, a little, like, tournament with them to see if they would negotiate things with us, and we won. It was either we did it, or they attempted to slaughter an entire town of people. Yeah. Okay, so spin it that way, not spin it as you willingly worked with them on the negotiations. Well, yeah. I get that's the truth. Right. But spin it, because plausible ideology they could potentially hold you we got a lot of us to them but i would have to work with them for obvious reasons do you understand that oh if they're all dead then you wouldn't have to work with them i say how badly you'd would have to kill me if they disappeared uh you'd have to make me disappear i have an oath to the crown but what if you just don't see it we get it <laughs> You do what you gotta do. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I love you guys, but I have to. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should go ahead. I understand. Okay, um... Cops are cops. Cops are kind of, you know, whatever. It's because um, I'm very So, scared. uh, good luck. We're probably gonna <laughs> talk to you. Um, the old man watching goes, Excuse me, I need to, um... And cast Magic Circle. Keeping you in. So they don't <laughs> trust us or something. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of character, I want to be like, let me out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm claustrophobic! No I'm kidding. So, um, <clears throat> that you just see the runes appear on the ground and it. So, if, um, any of you would like to make an arcana check, I'll do it. I'm a plus zero. Uh, so. I have a one. <laughs> let me look at. Um, oh, yeah, Liren's might be higher. Yeah, Liren's might be higher. Oh, this is plus four. Yeah. Hey, Blue, you want to uh, check out these little rooms? Oh, I forgot she was here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 24. That was a nat 20? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she, uh, she looks and goes, Uh, yeah, we, we can't leave unless we really try and get out of here. We have, this is, uh, for lack of better, more punctual terms, a magic circle. So if we want to leave, we really, we really have to try and leave. Um, so we, 
Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. Eh. But Wait, the good news is... Is old dude in there with us, or he just put... He just put it outside. He's on the outside. I mean, Question. were we going to... So it's just you guys. Is sound, is sound yeah. able to travel through? Mm-hmm. No, dang it. The only good news is um, they can't work any casting spells on us while we're in here to affect our minds. Which means I'm assuming that casting spells on their minds wouldn't work either. What if we yeah, it takes a little bit to... Um, I mean, you know, like if I wanted to, those they can't, they can't lay some of that cal charm on them, it wouldn't work. Uh, I don't think you, that's a good idea. I mean, if you want to try and you 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 can. Let's 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 just see how it goes first. I mean, I was I was just asking which case scenario. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I understand that. It's not, no, this, is a, truth. this is an augmented version of the spell. What if I don't? Generally, it doesn't affect humanoids like us. It it it, it affects. Um, certain things like demons and undead but you see that rune right there she just points to the one that like at the edge where the old man is that one's been modified so it keeps us in huh. all right well since we're stuck here might as well get comfortable i'm gonna crack is there anything we have that some of that whiskey make any pour myself a little cup <laughs> No, I was asking our group, is there anything we have that could make the situation better? Yeah, whiskey. No, I believe... Uh, Leo's... That and then continue with my conversation. <laughs> the, well, first off is the paperwork we have. Uh, I don't have it. I don't know who has it, but I don't have it. Pretty sure not. I thought it was Bilal that had it. I didn't think it was Bilal. I don't have it, because I've notated everything I've been given. Wasn't it Bilal? Because when uh, he and I went to like the guardsman back at Dramic, he had it. I think it, it, right? it no, was we, Bilal. It was we Bilal. We got it from the postman. I, didn't think we, I, mean, I remember we took it back to the guards. Like We brought it with us just in case we needed to get in. But they let us in because they knew who we are. Yeah, that's true. They did. Mm-hmm. That's why I said I'm pretty of sure Bilal was. Oh, we have great friends. <laughs> So after about ten minutes of you Can guys you sitting say there, it transferred into my bank account. No. <laughs> oh, uh, Leon and Lucy, also trying to teleport out of here. Not a good idea. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's the, the, this circle was made to keep us in. Uh, you can try. It'll probably it'll be very difficult. Yeah. How is what if we dug a hole or something? It is a magical that goes down and up. Oh. Yeah, we're not getting out. We could hide under her. So we might as well just enjoy our time. <clears throat> you, uh, he walks up. You see the gentleman, same one, <clears throat> helmet under his arm. Uh, he is an elf, um, a high elf. So he, he just very his silver, silver blonde hair taken into a nice ponytail in the back. He's he's very fair skin, um, silver eyes. So. Few questions. Nothing too serious, depending on your answers. Now, we must clear up one thing. Who are you? Looks at you, Leon. Oh, he's our on. reports don't have you. Our reports have you're missing two. Um, yeah. I guess you could say I replaced one of those two. They needed assistance. Do you assistance. have any? Affiliation with the White Talon, or I've had any business with them. No, I've never talked to the White Talon at all. All right, then you can go stand over there. Is that still in the bubble or outside the bubble? In the bubble. Oh. In my corner of the bubble. <laughs> okay. So for the rest of you, I'm still listening. Though. <laughs> please tell us your relation with the White Talon. Well, the White Talon attempted to slaughter my hometown in order to. Steal their goods before uh, moving on to their next victims. And uh, we had a form of battle in which, uh, if we won, they would not do that. (laughs) Uh, Instead, they would use the town uh, where they would purchase their own goods and as a sign of good faith uh, they received a I believe a discount from the town to maintain that the relationship didn't go back to being sour 
And how did this deal come about? See, Christina's writing this all this down. As in... I'm taking this all because I've never heard this story. As in why it was what, yes, what happened? How did this deal come to terms? What events led up to the deal? It, it's, it's very hard for my brain to understand not murdering an entire town if you have the ability and then going to a fair trade agreement. I mean, surprisingly, they seem to be people of their word. I mean, we uh, they only had a few men at the time to, it seemed like, more higher members of the, the White Talon were there. And they, I guess, got a bit cocky and challenged us to a fight. And we were already in a fighting mood, seeing how it was, you know, my hometown. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, they did not prevail in said battle. And they honored their word as far as uh, not slaughtering everyone. Um and I believe All right. I, and you had any contact with them since? Not that I know of. No. I don't think we have. I don't remember talking to them. Just say no. So, and you're headed there now, but you're not going to talk to them again? I mean, we've, we've heard that they're near the civilization, but... I mean, our goal was to get to the civilization... I mean, that is, I know, our main goal is to get there. I mean, I would like to hope that they maintain their end of the bargain. I mean, we did say if they didn't, we would might have to, you know. Well, let me cut you off there. As far as I know, they have. Well, that's good. We've been keeping tabs on them for the past four months. It's dreadfully boring. (laughs) I know that it, you know, boring seems bad. And, and and we are, we are half of them. The other, our other group members have been more southward, keeping a look, keeping an eye on them. We're actually rendezvousing with them now. Well, heading to, but we ran into you, the um, the um, Thunder storm, breakers. storm breakers, <laughs> the storm chasers, breakers, whatever. Them. So, it w- there is a small fine for interacting with a known criminal organization, but seeing as you saved the town that you were interacting them in, I will let it slide this time. But if I hear wind that you interacted with them again, it will be a fine of five hundred gold. Okay. <laughs> That's a standard fine for no act, interacting with a known criminal organization. So, uh, just out of curiosity, that means if they attack us and we attack them, we're still getting fined. No, no. Because you're saying interacting. Sparking it, up a deal. He said interacting. Di- I mean, having dialogue with them. That still sounds like they could shout at us. And no, not that type of. <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> Um, what? It's a valid point of... Cow mine. It's cow mine. I don't care. <laughs> Red one. Yes. Do you understand what I mean by dialogue? Yes. You don't have to say yes to everything I say. Yes. Now, you're in the bubble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... If I find that you've interacted with them in dialogue, meaning a discussion, or with a common goal or interest, I'll have to find you each 500 gold. Yes. I'm going to remember you, cow mine. Yes. I really wanted to, like, sound I like A lot of people don't like her, honestly. <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> oh, a lot of hostility here. Going back to my corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, that will be all, I suppose, but I am putting you on 
the check-in registry. So if a knight or guard would come across you anytime in the next six months, they will check in and see if you've interacted with any known criminal organization. Seems fair? Six months is light? Yes. I had a talk with Devin beforehand. He let me know what you've done. I am very thankful for what you've done, but I have to treat everyone equally. Yeah. Say yes one more time. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay. I didn't even hear it. On, it was so subtle, I didn't hear it. I was like, I did. oh, is that, she didn't say yes. I'm just gonna go. I'm just following orders. Just gonna look at him, just like. <laughs> He's real uptight. <laughs> Something's tight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be leaving you now. We've investigated the rest of your attire. Um, you did say you'd met with some other individuals. We had a nice discussion with a large. Orc. Oh, I forgot it was orc. Postman. <laughs> Who said he was your mercenary bodyguards? Yes. He told me not to talk, so. <laughs> what did I say about saying yes again? I follow the yeah, rules, please. I get in trouble. I break the rules, I get in trouble. I Which said is you didn't have to say agree with me anymore. I want the truth out first of you. Games. <laughs> not games. This is a big game. It's not game. What was that? Cal's going to walk I'm not starting. speaking, actually, so it's all in my head. Well, well actually, I did mumble that. Maybe. So, oh. he's not your bodyguard? Leon here does not like bodyguards. He likes to think of himself as someone who does not need help. Okay, I'm discussing about the individuals in the back of your caravan. I wouldn't call them our bodyguards, per se, but yes, they are sort of like our buffer against, you know, just the evil in the world. I can't talk. Okay. How are you affording to pay all these people? Favors, mostly. I was like, they all favors. Good faith. I mean, we, we, we saved half of them. If not more. You're able to pull this many people on favors? Who most of the Goliaths are family. Uh, Everyone else we've worked with. Yeah. Like I said, most of them been favors. You know, save the, the town here, save the town. I'd love to know about this. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, really sure he family? would love the bedtime story. Mm. Bedtime. Yes, you? the story of the Stormbreakers. Bedtime. Haven't you heard? Bedtime story? Oh yeah. my god. Everybody King needs a Bartholomew story. is a full-grown adult. So am I. I still like bedtime stories. Where are you from? <laughs> the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say that? Yeah. He's not wrong. <laughs> Where were you born? Not here. In a womb. Do you know where? where you were? Uh, <laughs> a little island up north. In the gutter. Really? That's why I have a great tan. Whispers to Christine. Perception. Yep. No. With how far he's back from you. Super okay. secret whispering. Interesting. Where are you from? I almost forgot the name. Um. Yeah. I'll just say it. I'm from Selden. So no, Selden. I'm. Not, I'm I've, I've traveled all my life, really. Where were you born? I forgot the name. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is in my notes. <laughs> so, Always just, check your notes, like really, kids. You were born, really. I'm assuming, in the Badlands. Yeah. And you? Let's start at the end there and there goes. I, I honestly don't remember if you can believe that. I... I know I lost my parents a long time ago, but I don't know where we were from. 
Interesting. A Ganassi not knowing their heritage. Our historical society would like to learn more about that. Goddamn historical societies. I swear to God, if we meet Archibald, I'm going to have to kill someone. <laughs> I think Archibald might be blessed. I think it's on my notebook. <laughs> and this one's not filled out for some reason, but this one must be filled out. So... I'm from that place with a thing. Let's see if right I there. Oh, Nordstrom. I thought I would have put it over there. I'm from Nordstrom. You right. shouldn't shop there. Nordstrom. <laughs> Not Nordstrom. <laughs> Nordstrom. Uh, Nordstrom. I was born there. Christine, where, where is that? Where, where is that? Um, that's also in the North Frontier. Who of you are from there? You don't know where you're from. You're from Nordstrom. You're from the Badlands, and you can't remember worth shit. How did you... You know, never mind. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you get to summons. Again? What do you mean again? Well, that's how we met, was... Uh... Wimbledon, we got a summons. Oh, uh, yes, Devin told me that's how he met you. He you know you're working me. with a war hero, correct? Doesn't a war hero? It's Devin. Yes, Devin. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm not <laughs> He's a little He's young. He's strong. Mm. It's, He's it's Devin. a prodigy. Bring me some pie. I Finish was, his whiskey. I was... Probably <laughs> I just can't leave. was in my twentieth year of being a scout when he was he joined the Royal Force at age of fourteen. So on this summons you speak of yes. what, what would it be for? Probably exactly. to discuss with the historical society. The oh God, what is that? I hate all these the names. Grand, grand, <laughs> no, no, the, the, he means the Society of Historical Reclamation. Grand Council of Historical Rest. I don't know what that is. It's something like that. I don't know. They sound like a bucket of fun. It's like a big light. You know what? Parties, they're not too bad. On the clock, though, they're dreadfully boring. Well, then, I suppose we'll so just have to meet them at a party, then, won't we? You probably won't. Shame. So, it's just, it's so a good time. be on the lookout for, I guess, a summons from who knows. Not me. Kind of actually, I'm going on a, uh, a whole battalion is actually going off on a nine month vacation for working this. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Stop asking questions. Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, it's just casual conversation. Just know we're going somewhere nice. <laughs> well, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful time. <laughs> Cross your fingers there. I mean, I'm being semi serious. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you yes. find. <laughs> Whatever thing you're looking for. Well, um, you can drop it now. Help me get this stick out of your head. Would you say that? I probably wouldn't say that, honestly. I would probably, like, very keep it. Well, you made a mistake because now he's got to roll. Yeah, too late. It's fine. Get the watch out of where as it drops. <laughs> I said relax on the beach if you're going there. Deception. Deception. That's fine. Rolls <laughs> a one. Uh, that is 16. Walks over to you. You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> so, how big is the stick? <laughs> hey, well, what are you so asking? He did here. Are you asking <laughs> him to whip it out? <laughs> how big is the stick up my ass? Go ahead. Oh, no, you want you apparently know more about my my body than I. Do. <laughs> I'm so just saying <laughs> you're flipping between being so kind of rude and then oh, you want to be nice. It's just kind of hard to tell. That's all I'm saying. Just breathe sometimes. How often do you? You what know is what? Your name? He was dropped on his head recently. It's probably <laughs> He's suffering true. from brain trauma. Actually, I was hit pretty hard. But I'm not gonna what lie. Is your I am name? still in pain. Um. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> I, know it's, I was like, did I lie? I know it's hard, but you have to remember your name. He's serious head injury. What recently. is his name? Uh, Tell the man your name. Ray Gorn Buzz Tooth. 
<laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Leon. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> Leon Silverblade. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! That one. <laughs> I'm trying to shadow. Silver shadow. Oh, sorry, you're right. You're Silver right. shadow. I told My you bad. serious head injury. I just, I, we got out of a lot of battles. I would love to go so, on vacation, honestly. <laughs> I have a stick in my ass. You decided to lie to me. And your name is Leon Silver Shadow? Yes. All right. Um, that royal summons I discussed? I still don't understand. I will that. see you in the capital in two months. I still don't understand. Persuasion? Maybe. Look, we're sorry. We have just got done with, like, a heavy battle. Oh, that's not great. Um, and, you know, he's he's injured. We're worn out. We're just having a little fun. I'm sorry if we've offended you. And that's going to be a uh, 12. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say I have, like, more sense. I'm going to, like, pat off the head. <laughs> there, there. It's just been a long, like, what, week? It's been We've been attacked, like, it's been every a long day. Six months. I, I understand that. But and decorum would just... dictate you wouldn't be such a gutter snipe. To, to what? I mean, in, in somewhat of a defense, you were the first royal guards we've come in contact with in the last, I don't know, 30 years. I've actually mm-hmm. never seen a royal well, guard. Though. It is hard for us to get up here. We do have to go through the Badlands. and Right, but my, my point is, you know, sometimes etiquette is... Not the same everywhere you go. So even if yeah, I mean, look at us—we're not fancy. Well, you know, even <laughs> if were, you could say that we're out of <laughs> practice. Yes, very out of practice. So, um, fine. Then, please, after your archaeological misadventure, find your way to the capital. Yes. We will. We sure will. Oh boy, I have just always wanted to see the capital my whole life. What about you? Yeah, the capital itself. All of you. Fun trip. Look at look we at We are Aaron going Blue. to be looking into Leon's Silver Shadow. I mean, not very many people would like to um, lie about their name. I, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people like to lie about their name. Maybe it's just because of all the... I told you like I said, we've fight. had been a lot of attacks, and I just am kind of dizzy. Deception. Is that deception With or advantage. performance? With advantage. So that is... Can I act that like is I have 24. a head injury? Can I, just say, can I act like I have a head injury to help, or just that <laughs> no, advantage just leave it. go with it? Just leave I it. completely understand head trauma can be. Um, George <laughs> over there has recently just fought a great cat, and it will, um, it kind of messed him up bad. Oh, George, I'm so sorry. What's a crag, a crag, a crag cat? A crag cat? It's a very it's large a, cat. It's oh. like, you know, it's a big bob cat. cat? <laughs> big cat. Like a lion. So, be careful. Uh, we have like seen, like we have seen all sorts of things wandering about on your path. Um, do take care of your head. Don't worry, we'll take care of his head. Please still make your <laughs> way to <laughs> make your way to the capital. I'm sure the society or whatever their name is would would love to know more about your adventures here. Great. Sounds great. Mm, try and dress a little more formal. Mm. What well, is like I uh, formal dressing? I can't promise that. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can... But I'll think about it. (laughs) You see... Christine come over and go... If you... If you need a place, pull down a card. I I have this boutique. I also run on the side. Go there. Um, If you... If you say I sent you... And show them that card. They'll 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 let you they'll loan you some clothes. (laughs) Nice. She puts my shirt in. Very (laughs) sincere. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. Um... Sorry about the chief. Kinda been rough. We lost one of ours not too long ago. Oh, so 
Oh, <laughs> gnolls, you say? Yes. Where did you encounter these gnolls? Uh, closer to the mountains. Yeah. Okay. I just, I would hate for you guys to lose another one. I, Large force of them? No, it was a small, like, hunting pack. Anything uh, off about these gnolls? Anything different? They were completely naked. Uh, is that, I mean, that means they're probably wild. Oh, well, I'm oh. sorry for your loss. Yes, we're... <laughs> you know, oh, he, he was kind of dumb. Well, the dumb ones do always go first. Head injury. From my <laughs> like, head injury, <laughs> knowledge is low. Don't notes, look at me. From my notes, um, that would be... Him? Yeah. He's point to Sorn. You know, he's not the brightest, but you know, he does really well for himself. Thanks. He's smarter than us. <laughs> 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 I we have a I probably shouldn't tell you this, but we have a file on you. On all Got of a us copy of that file? Well, your file breakers. just started today. <laughs> just know you're not doing well. Uh, <laughs> has had a injury. copy of that file, dude. I'm not going to give you a copy of the file. I mean, I just want to know what you guys you know, breakdown. I'm a little insecure. I just about need you. Yeah. Very brash, rude, alcoholic. <laughs> Tend to hold within emotional information. Mm-hmm. That cures. How are they up? T- no, you won't be. You guys are doing great. Are you able to obtain it? Yeah. No, Asking. I didn't think so. Asking with force. <laughs> Just know that. I mean, we do make a name for ourselves at this point. So. You're a inch party of interest for our. Um, king? No, not the king. For the military. Like in a good way? Sounds great. A bad In a like neutral make, way. I That's all I can say. Neutral ways Is the best there a ways. way to make our uh, file more positive? Yours? No, I'm not saying right now. as a whole. As a whole the Stormbreakers? Yeah. Um yeah, going to the capital would help. We'll put that on our to Valid list. point. Okay. If we well, don't. um, we're gonna go now. It's a, at this point, it's about seven a.m. Um, have a good, good time. Have a good day. Um, good luck. And hopefully, I'll see, I'll see you guys in the capital. Hmm. She's gonna back up, and they're gonna get off and ride away. Whew. That could have gone so much worse for you. Thank God for your head injury. All right. I was about to roll. As Leon so walks up and just goes on the back of Leon's head. Hey, you can't tell One me that. One thing I've learned being with these people. Shut up. Because you've been with them before? I'm going to just... come up behind Leon. Oh, like, these <laughs> people. <laughs> like, idiot. Just don't. At this point, I don't know who should talk anymore. As they're slapping him, I'm going to be like, guys, his head injury. Yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, an actual injury. <laughs> Your hit would actually like make a head injury. Uh, pour, pour you another shot. You earned it. Devin's <laughs> gonna, Devin's gonna go and go. That went well. I thought one of you two was gonna be put in handcuffs. I mean, he almost was. <laughs> Everyone just points. Is at that me. a threat or a promise? Oh, cracks the joke very clearly. I mean, <laughs> Aha! <laughs> <laughs> I made the joke of the guy that has the hots for you. Devin sure. Even goes, I mean, if you oh my God. Break, break any laws, <laughs> I'd have to put you in cuffs. You know, you twirls them around. You steal anything. The laws of attraction. <laughs> I don't know if you'd assault somebody, I'd have to put you in cuffs, but who knows. I think he wants you to assault him. What? Nothing. He's Why would like, I assault him? He's going to be like, don't worry, though. We have to worry about it right now. Good job. Um, We're going to continue to move. I do need one of you guys to drive the car, though. Francesca passed out in the car. No, it's guys. I was going to do it anyway. You guys oh, what? What? Say, work? I would crash. <laughs> well, you really think one of you guys were actually going to do any work? Screw that. Oh, I would take offense. I think we put so a honest. great performance Excuse just you. a moment ago. Cornelius and I were always your best side drivers. Oh, no. I was talking to them. She said the C word. She said side drivers. She didn't even say the driver part. Why don't you sit next to Soren? I'll do that. She she walks it. She she like sits on the side seat. Let's go. I want to grab.
grab like a good. Is there like woods nearby? Like some wood nearby? There's, there's, a, and you're kind of in the grasslands, so there's mm-hmm. not really many. There's some like saplings. Okay, I was gonna say it was like during the trip if I could like carve like a little miniature. Okay. Cornelius. Like, okay. is there enough wood for that? It'll be, yeah, you can find some. It'll be sleight of hand without okay. your per- So, you know, just sleight of hand, you don't get your person to bonus on top. So just roll d20. It, d20 plus your, I guess it's dexterity modifier. Because are you proficient um, in sleight of hand? I mean, I rolled an 18 plus 5 of dexterity alone. Yeah, okay, then you're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like regardless, I'm pretty sure I got that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that for her, and then whenever I'm done... And it's like, this is where you... Yeah. Okay, so that'll be probably a few days in. Okay, no problem. So you continue the ne- the upcoming day. Um, people are rotating, and they're sleeping and in carts and, like, taking rests how they can. Um, it's, it's a pretty large caravan. How many people you have? Mm-hmm. About There is going to be a few nights, so this will be night one. So you still have about seven days, so about like a week left. Well, probably like eight days left. Um, so, mm-hmm. yeah, you have about eight days left between um, you getting there. So, night one. So, um, you guys can talk. Does anybody want to discuss how we're going to supposedly work with the... Uh, um, White talent. White talents. I almost said storm talents this time. <laughs> Is anyone? How, how are we supposedly, you know, we can't, and we're about to go if we are going to the capital right after. Uh, Where is the option of the postman talk to the white talent that's what first and foremost so that way we don't interact with them? They agree with the postman. Technically, the white talent disbands because they are all postmen now. They stop being criminal organization, so if we interact with them, we're not interacting with the white talent. <laughs> Kyle's going to work, and they said you were dumb. I know. <laughs> yeah, and then they right. met you. So. Uh... <laughs> Shots fired. Hey, yes, I Javelin's that. thrown. <laughs> nice. I feel like so worse good. choices have been made in our group as a total, but that's mm. cool. Anyways. I'm all for that plan. Everyone's just so rude today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna <no. laughs> I'm gonna go sit in my corner and whittle. My other corner. Now that we're not in the magic bowl. Can't yeah, right. Uh, Francesca approaches you and. How is um, everyone doing? Everyone seems to be a little irritated. Cabin fever. Must be. Cabin fever. We were outside. Caravan right, but fever. caravan fever. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna die of dysentery. <laughs> I hope not. I do have. Do, do, are you sick? No. Do you something? He's he's making a joke. I might have a head injury. I don't know. <laughs> Someone kept saying that. He does not. He does not have a head injury. <laughs> or maybe he does. I'm really not sure anymore. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I need to talk oh. to uh, the postman. No, oh, if you'd like, you can go talk to him. Just All right, Liren, I'm going to need you to take the reins so I can hop out and go. Oh, that's that night. You guys already traveled. Oh. Yeah. This is like when you guys said, no camp. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go talk to the postman. You see he's sitting in a chair while people around him are setting stuff up. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Thorn. Hey. How are you? As well as you can expect, I guess. I'd be... We haven't fought anything yet. No, but we are fighting politics now, which Wonder who started arguably is much worse. I mean, politics <laughs> is what I'm good at. Which is why I'm coming to you first and foremost. Yes. First off, all this time, and I've realized that I have been completely rude. What is your name? We we call, we can we refer to you as the postman. So does everyone else. But that feels so impersonal. Well, apparently that is my title. But the name is Philip. Oh. Well, Philip, I apologize that's, for that's uh, my lack of manners, and it is lovely to meet you, Philip. Um, with our recent interaction with the king's guards. It has been, I'm sure, you're well aware, that we are now stuck in a situation where if we interact 
and have dialogue with White Talon. Dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, all going to be fined 500 gold each. Just for all. Yes. And that could... And that was pointed at us directly. Um, and as we know, we are not a wealthy team. Um, so, the question, I guess, becomes this. We're going to have to deal with the White Talon, including you. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, my approach to the situation may be having the postman go in, hoping you strike your guys' deal, um, and if they agree to join the postman, they are no longer White Talon. They are postmen. And which, that would open up the dialogue for us to speak with them. That and is pretty good, but I was hoping one of you would be there, since you've already discussed with them. Just I'm, one. If anything, if word if it comes to worse and you would be, you know, discovered, I imagine one of you would probably die without, into, you know, discussion. I would, I would foot the bill. Or one of you. All right. I mean, so I by would... the way he by the way he said it, if one of you were to talk, then only one of you would have to pay. Mm. That would be uh, my assumption. Well, then pick one of you to go and talk with me. All right. I will uh, speak with the group, uh, and we will decide as we get closer and we can form the plan. And hopefully we can settle this without bloodshed. I mean, especially if we use the argument of Yingu bad, also being watched by the king's bad, and if they stop being criminals in their eyes, it could work out better for them in favor. That would be nice, yes. So, in a, in a weird way, it seems this might work in our favor a bit more for negotiations. Well, hopefully it does. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you need? Uh... Are your people okay? Is everyone doing oh, yes. all right? Uh, I know Francesca has been doing a lot of work on making sure. such a sweetheart. Yes. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't also just check and make sure. Mm, yeah, we're fine. All right. Um, well, you know where to find us. We'll be in the front. <laughs> As expected. Mm. Yeah, well, good night, Philip. Good night, Sean. And I will head back to my cart. Okay. As he approaches, I want to ask, why didn't we just tell the the guards what we were doing? Like, in terms of... You want to try to explain you. to uh, the royal guard that's been out here for mm-hmm. months, far away from home, with orders that haven't been updated in months. Hey, we're going to go fight some demons in the mountains. And them go, well, I can't let you do that. You could be lying. And then have to wait several months for them to get that to the king, king's council to make a decision, several months for it to come back to us, and then be like, maybe fight them. I've never dealt with any anything in the terms, so I was just wondering. That's my point. That's what I was asking. That's in the 30 point. years or so, I think I had it so much 30-ish, uh, I have never once interacted with royal guards outside of Devon. But you still have more experience with politics and stuff like that. Like, in a sense, of like in terms of people in charge of your uh, group and stuff like that. Usually it's just me by myself. Yeah, but... You try explaining to a royal god that demons are in the mountains trying to kill everyone on the planet. Don't you just know you just lie to the guards? I mean, I lie to everyone. It doesn't work all the time, obviously. I'm just saying. (laughs) Come on. I mean, it's not wrong. It would be bad. I mean, I don't disagree. I just want to understand I mean, you probably lie to a lot of people. You're not wrong. Doesn't always work. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I know, but that's why you just lie more. Exactly. Or no. it's a lie of omission. <laughs> Forget and just leave out a couple of big important pieces. Yeah. See, he's starting to come around to my way of thinking. Um. All right. There's a difference. You just lie when you need to. So. Or you just tell half truths. <laughs> like here's the pieces that you need to know that are true. So if I'm in the zone of truth, I'm telling the truth. So lie. Is it? I think, I mean, yeah. So, the main thing is I talked to uh, the postman, and uh, he seemed to agree that the the, the plan seems to be a uh, hopefully good one. Great. However, he is asking that we have at least one member 
who has interacted with the Stormbreakers, or a member that, of the Stormbreakers has interacted with the White Talon to go with them. Because um, they're going to want at least one person that they know. What if we just, like, stand in the background? The problem is, if we all do that, even if we're in the background, we're all going to get fined. Well, However, technically it, speaking, that's not dialogue. That's interacting, though. No, nah, he's right. It's guilt by association. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, we tend to... Do you have 500 gold to pay everyone? I was just trying to think of an idea. Anyways. So <laughs> I was just trying to the, think of an idea. The postmen have, so have offered, if it comes to it, to put the bill for one of us to go with them. Okay. Now, the question is, that leaves three of us. There's Cal, Liren, and myself, who have interacted with the White Talon. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, not good odds. No. I'm not. sorry. I mean this in a nice way, Soren, but you are a goody two shoes. Yes. Yeah, and your lying's not the greatest. However, what would be lying about trying to tell the white talent? Persuading's hey, not the greatest. Uh, logic Knowledge. would dictate, hey, you want to fight Yang Yu and his forces as well as you're being watched by the royal guard? They're, they're, telling the truth means once one thing, but how you tell the truth is a little different, and you are very much like your hammer. Just blunt. There's a certain finesse, finesse to being persuasive. Yeah, sure. You know what also works? Hitting something flat on the face, like the truth. Uh, mm, I don't even tell the truth, and it's gone well. Surprisingly, a lot. It's never. How often well has me. you have you told? How often has the group told a blunt truth, and it's gone well? Surprisingly, a lot. Mm, yeah, didn't we just sure, lie about because, something? You know, As compared to what? You're lying? Didn't you? We just <laughs> lied. What did you didn't she about? tell you the truth? And didn't you get mad? Aren't you mad at her? Is she not dead? You're I, not dead. Not yet. Exactly. But, I haven't killed her. My head injury. So it could have gone much worse. Man. Do you want to do it? No, okay, I'll do it then. Yeah. I, I, Think not, about it. Out of all of us, I'm the most. I'm the you. most. Thievish, no, right? They don't care. Oh, okay, cool. It's like the one group that doesn't hate cow, other than us. Then yeah, that'd be, love you. Yeah, that'd be great. But <laughs> you're not wrong. I'll do it. All right. All right. You well, got the bracelets. So where should so the three of us stay? If, if they, they stay attack, in, but you tell the postman that if he does hard. not post my fine, I'm gonna be. Very disappointed with him. <laughs> right. Ooh. You can be dis- disappointed. Mama Cow coming out. Disappointed. Yeah, she can be disappointed. I'm not going to threaten him. I'm just going <laughs> to tell him that it will <laughs> make me disappointed. Let me threaten the head of a secret organization exactly. built on the Exactly. That's why I said I'm not going to threaten him. I just want him to <laughs> you know, know that it was killed exactly. in jail. <laughs> so, I mean, you can go tell him. I wonder if things would be easier for the associates <laughs> of the postman. I'm comfortable. I've got my Are you whiskey. saying you want to work for the postman? I'm just saying if I mean, we became like, like contractors job. of the postman, it might be easier to I get in and out already of are. Yeah, we're, kind of we got, te- like, we're technically under contract with some but, on some occasions. I mean, if we got a legal document. They don't... The postmen are underground. They don't really... They're exist. not like a... They're still they're, learning these things. They're a delivery service. They're not really... UPS. Yes, or the golden the... rod delivery. You know, it's one of those kind of things. Is a front. <laughs> it's a good con. The golden rod delivery. I've never heard yeah. of. Them. Oh yeah, they got a weird like crane thing. Anyway, they got them in almost every town. Really? Yeah. Are they good? I don't know. I don't deliver crap. Oh. I heard they're really good. <laughs> I heard they. <laughs> <laughs> I have to check them out next time I need an item shipped. Mm, Do they, they have models? a secret company under them too? <laughs> what? No. Oh, so I guess they're not as good. I don't know. It's Check a business. out our one shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Plug. Yeah. The postman, the ones that you see going around, like, delivering things, not not the same ones that are with us. I mean, same ones, but not the same type of deal. So what's the postman's ultimate Didn't goal? Didn't you? Weren't you in Hamilton? Like, for five seconds. Didn't you follow us? He wasn't listening. Yeah, yeah I wasn't. He was too busy getting him. caught by the guards. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, I, I, feel, I feel like, they, like you, there's some uh, high tension in there today. Yeah. Is there something mm. wrong? You, you good, buddy? I mean, we did get caught. Okay, but A could have been worse. You got caught twice. Okay, <laughs> but you've been you having an attitude all day. Mm. Look, things could have turned out worse. 
Could have turned out wrong. better. You're not wrong. And but I, um, we're heading to the Ramhorn Mountains to fight to fight a I demon god. I was talking god. about Humbleton. <laughs> Humbleton is just the time with hey, our hey, situation. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's for the horses. You should feed them. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. I guess your head injury you can't you let you do other jobs either. We know you're yeah. oh, <laughs> you too, Boy Scout. So, just, just so you know, the postmen, <laughs> the postmen are kind of our contacts. They're kind of our like go-to people when we need to, you know to send information, and we kind of help them with things, but. They're like an information organization. Oh. <coughs> they're the good mob. So they're like... <laughs> they don't know if they're intentions yet. Yeah, they seem pretty good. So they're kind of like spies, then. A little bit. Good. In a sense, yeah. You get along with them if you talk to them. But they're that's enough for tonight. Yes, yeah, yeah, for their name. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Well, you're in... Like, to roll out of bed, roll. Lay it down. I guess I'll take first watch. Oh yeah. Oh, I was. That's a good point. How are the watches in the whole camp going? Like, how is the camp set up? Are we just like in a line, or are we in a big? No, circle? you're in a circle. In a big circle. Okay. So are there like guards in general? Uh, like, I will. Look, t- as you look around, you see some of the Goliaths are making like perimeter roll. Okay. I'll take first watch. I've already said I'm taking first watch. Oh. You both can. Yeah, I'll take first watch with you. I apparently but I'm going to be sipping on so. some. <laughs> sipping out of my flask. Not a lot, just a little. There you go. I'm going to rest. Okay. Um, roll perception. 23. Okay. Uh, 13. Okay. So you don't see or hear anything weird. Occasionally, a Goliath will come over and check in on you guys and walk away. Your first shift goes without a hitch. Second shift? I'll take it. Okay. Because it's after four hours, I'm fine anyway, so. Well, it'll be technically it's like two and a half hours for That's fine. three shifts. I'll take it. Okay, so you're rested for two and a half hours. Roll me a perception. Thirteen. You got an arrow to the chest. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's <laughs> me. <laughs> you um, don't see anything strange. Goliath's coming in to check on you again. And then. So. Um. You. Go back to bed for your last two and a half hours while Laren Laren takes final. Um, no, I mean, she has a pretty peaceful time. Doesn't happen. She goes, I'll wake up in the morning as some light uh, rain begins to come off the coast. Princessa comes along. She'll let the block the rain. Well, um, from what the, some of the druids in the um, camps are saying, that this will continue for a few days, so we're going to be sleeping in our carts. Alright. Sounds good. All but, right. uh, let's say you all good. Can we continue? Mm-hmm. Alright, then uh, let's go. Break up camp. Um, you guys go, I need to make an animal handling check. It's in that one. As we're gonna go, you're, you're, the, the rain hitting you, you're used to the storm, but for some reason, there's an un- ah, my eye. Oh, there's crap. unnatural <laughs> uneasiness with this, and you just, you, you, you're, you're drifting way off course as you pass by. Um, a large group of trees, probably like an acre 
um, north, so towards the coast, and you guys are heading towards the coast on the acre of trees, and you head into there, and the, the horses kind of at one moment take off into the trees on a, on a small path. Francesca in the back's like, What? What's going on? Why are we doing this? Why are we going? Sorry, what are you doing? I can't see. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you can't see? <laughs> I can't see. Why was that unclear? I don't, I don't. I'm just. I'm very confused by what you mean. Um, she hops up. Mayor and like her and there switch places. Uh, look, give me the reins. Are you giving the reins? Yeah, for twenty. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like throws like um does like puts on like sends some like he like radiant energy into them. Mm. Okay, okay, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Um. As you roll into a small clearing in the center, you... Now I'm curious. Mayor's going to do a nature check. You look like a nature check. She, saw, as she looks out, like, checking in, she's like, Hey. Uh, Soren? Hmm? If you could slowly work your way out of this clearing, calmly work them out of the clearing, that would be nice. Uh, what? Okay. She's just looking at you, not looking, it's just smiling like, just there's a... See that big oak tree? Yeah. Got a face. Oh. Um. Okay, let's move then. <laughs> Leans in close to you guys. Oh, my Thor. I hope that's not something you see every day. What are you doing here? We are traveling and How I am... How did you find my forest? Technically by accident because I'm bad at driving horses. Oh, they're just scared by the rain. As a, a branch comes down, the horse like calms down a bit, mm. finds an apple. <laughs> finds an apple. <laughs> Hello, my name is Farik. Oh, no, hello, Farik. I am Swan Thunderfist. I, <laughs> I am a Trent. Now, do you come in peace or for wood? No, uh, we do were. You come damaging my small forest? No, we were, like I said, just traveling, and I'm really bad at driving horses. I see. Sighs, you hear the creak of the of the, his branches in the wind. He has like a moss covered face with like lichen that comes down, not into a beard, but into like old like they they accentuate the 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 Keep bark going. of his the bark and like the wrinkles of his face. These parts have been unsafe for a while. Why would such Creatures be here. What do you mean unsafe? Evil tainting the land. You uh, mean like coming from the Ramhorn Mountains, I assume. Yeah. That is our destination. We are. We're trying to stop the evil from the Ramhorn Mountains. Be wary. It has tainted many of my kind. I only escaped about a year ago. Is there a way to cleanse them? My kind has withered and died. Uh, I thought tainted means like, you know, take them over. And, well, I say it only means to the point where they're, they're withering and dying. Oh, gotcha. He's swaying back and forth while looking at you. I am very tired. I mean, we, we, we apologize for disturbing you. Uh, it is okay. Uh, it is 
natural as all things are. Please, if you can, cleanse the land. That is our our goal and mission. Take this. As he shakes and shifts, you see a golden apple. <laughs> some a seed come down and land on on the cart. Like a big seed or oh, Jesus. A uh, pineapple seed. What is this? It is it's like a nature's seed. fate that we met so world I have fought the forces of the taint for too long sorry it's an actual term I know that's the worst I'm sorry <laughs> so, the fact that it was said slowly let it process that much longer the forces of the taint <laughs> if you plan that after claiming my people have a chance to survive. The wild mother smiles upon me this day. You see, like, kind of like a soft smile. She is letting me know it is time to come home. Oh. Should we return here to plant the seed? No, plant it in the mountains. Return it to its glory. Be well, nature's children. Be well. As he plants and wilts, Francesca is sitting there like, Oh, that was very sad. Why does everyone know our names? We're mm -hmm. a hot commodity. Well, um, I'm studied in many religions, um, in your sweet phrase, but the Wild Mother is the god of nature mm -hmm. and the god of um, the earth. So, if she has interest in you and has communicated with the people of this, or the, the creatures of this land, some who respect and worship her and work with her, um, we know you. So that must mean she has an interest in us. Oh, I guess now because they want seen, in, they right? have an interest in balance. Again, yeah. the land is being tainted by evil, and if we are once fighting this at evil, but then that comes to does she know that we were going to be here all along? Or? Like you said, maybe. Who knows? God's, the gods are fickle. Great religion. The gods, I mean, <laughs> gods are crazy. I mean, you would know. You want to take that? Valid. Oh uh, yes. All right, yeah, let's uh. I'm not good with plants. I'll take the seed. I'm sort of good. With plants? No. My background, I mean, my family. I'm I'm pretty good. We are, I guess you're not technically made of water. Yeah, I'm pretty good at nature. <laughs> I mean, race-wise, technically. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, good with uh, plants. I'll take it. I'll give it to the one who's made of water. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like... Starts growing in her palm. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. No, 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 not now. <laughs> Absorbed. Corny would really love to have been snuggling with this. Yeah. Takes out her bag. Okay, let's have Francesca drive. Yeah. As she, a, as you were leaving, as you pass, you notice all the trees begin to wilt mm. and die. Well. By the time you get out of that small patch of tree, they're very densely packed. As you get out, it, they're all, even with the rain and everything, they're just, it's now just amber and orange and red and wilted and withered. We really gotta do whatever we can to get things back to normal. <laughs> I, I guess he was keeping that alive. 
That it's would a, be my guess. It's a big bird in there. It's so sad. Hmm? What will really be sad is if he died in vain and we do not. Well, that's not going to happen. We're going to do it. Oh, that's right. And sure. Can continue you on the other day. <laughs> so, <laughs> we will let the next few days be easy peasy. No need to do checks. No need to do anything like that. Don't need to roll for it. <laughs> Nat 30. What? <laughs> I don't think it works like that. It does with a different pair of dice. Is there a 30 die? 30 side die? I have, yeah, I have two 30 side dice. Same. <laughs> so, um, I feel like and after this, this is going to be really important. So we're going to take a small break. And we'll come right back. To what happens next? It is. <laughs> Everyone died. <laughs> have a whole chart. I keep rolling for it. I read it really fast. Just really lucky. So we are back. Hello and welcome back. As usual. Okay. <laughs> it really is a thing. So. Yeah, you guys missed the best joke ever, and we can't, we can't repeat it now. And never again. It's gone forever. It's gone funny. forever. So, as you're continuing, as Francesca said, you're about day four. You're about halfway. Four out of eight. Um, to getting there. The the rain is continuing to, to billow and belt and hit you. It seems as if because of where you are, as usual... There's not too much you can do about the rain. It's going to continue for a few more days. As you go about your day, there's a... Sorry, actually, can you make me a um, perception check? Perception check. Can I help him? That's 16. Yeah. Yes. You lock, look Thank off in the distance. Good. And you see a break in the storm. Being acutely attuned to the storm itself. Mm. And feeling the presence of the storm. You, you feel a break off. You're going eastward, so north e- or in, northward. More northward off of where you're heading east. No, oh, sorry, west. Sorry, west. No, northwest. Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking the direction is good. Yeah. Cartography. Yeah, it throws me off too. Yeah. You're heading this way. You're looking north. You see a break. And you don't believe your eyes. Thor. You are sitting there going, There's no way. There's no way. As you get close, you grow closer and closer to almost perpendicular with it. A stallion. Pure white. Stunning mane. Eight legs. One big horn. It's a unicorn! Yeah! It's on the table. Yeah. He's got a sword of corn. It's a unicorn! Sorn Thunderfist sees a unicorn for the first time in his entire life. That's cool. As Francesca stares and goes... Do you, do you see that? <laughs> You guys see Soren just melting. In He's like, it's a unicorn. Do you want to go? Pick I'm gonna like lean up to Francesca. Has he been drinking? No, not at all. There's actually a unicorn. Do you not see it? You look out and then peek out the cart. Br- illumination and rainbows just right there. It's a majestic unicorn. Oh, look, it's a horse with a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the end of rainbows, it's usually gold. I, There's two um, types of people. They are very, very rare. Um, I, does your origin have to do with unicorns? Or do you just like them? They're... <laughs> I mean, can you not deny that they are the most... Majestic and battle-ready steeds. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> but it does not make much sense to me why they would be here. 
I mean, I couldn't tell you either, but... Let's go talk to it. I want to, I want to meet one. <laughs> would you like to go talk to it? I would love to. Well, um... Hopefully it isn't as scared by your struggle, so you should go peacefully towards it. Yes. <laughs> Just like prancing in the rain. Is there, uh, this is not normal for him, though. The closest thing you've seen is with me interacting with the, uh, like the wormlings in the, uh, Tower of Worms. He, he seems very emotional animal. lately, so. Noted. So as you go, it it sees you and doesn't move. Um, I guess I'm going to continue to approach it <laughs> as calmly as possible. <laughs> In your head. <laughs> you know, not, this is not how I'm going to go for... Uh, <laughs> the unicorn but in your head you hear uh <laughs> I swear to god it's like a cartoon voice that's what I, it's not gonna be like Wyler I am a unicorn it's Steve <laughs> my you name know. is Steve the Please unicorn Steve. you hear it, it bows I will do it back Lord Thunderfist <laughs> Uh, I, I apologize, I don't know your name. <laughs> In your tongue, it would be impossible to say. But, you can call me Xander. Well, well, hello, Xander. I have heard about you. Trots over to you. <laughs> Upon... The Rainbow Bridge, which I guard, mm. you have been discussed. You seem smaller than I thought. Well, I mean, when you are dealing with those such as the Asgardians, then I imagine so. <laughs> yes. Um. Lord Thor said you were a giant among men. I thought he meant actual giant. No, unfortunately, uh, the Goliaths are descendants of giants, but not quite giants themselves. Interesting, interesting. Well, it's an honor to meet you. I was merely taking a small break. I was told to be in the area in case Lord Thor needed to join the mortal plane for, for um, an, an event. I am glad to know that Thor is ready in case he is needed and he has friends such as yourself. They understand his hose. <laughs> Your friends make me uneasy. Yeah, they make me uneasy as well. <laughs> Looks over. I was just going to say, are you talking to a unicorn? <laughs> yeah, you're taking, I mean, you know, you just see him like, no, he doesn't say anything. This is all telepathy. <laughs> it, it speaks, um,. Celestial, Elvis, Sylvan, and telepathic. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. You're just staring. No, d d don't worry about it. I'll be over in, in a little bit. It's like gravelly. I'm like, it's a horse. <laughs> Fall up and pops the ground for a bit. He's not hypnotized am, again, is he? I am unsure. Unsure. Are you truly worthy of what you carry? I... Tried, I mean, to answer your question, I do not know. I am not one to make that decision. That is both to Thor and, and the hammer itself. I mean, I don't think Thor gets to decide if he is worthy for Mjolnir. I think Mjolnir is the one that makes prove that it. decision. Prove you're worthy of that hammer. So, Did he just stab someone? No, he's, he's, he's nodding. <laughs> I, I mean... Is there a display you wish to see? Strike me! Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> it, it, if you feel that that would be a, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna see this. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna see someone go. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how. As um, 
I picture like a rag You see him go strike me. He's immediately going to um, stab you and kick you in the face twice. Oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Unicorn. <laughs> Hey, to see what something more. crazy going to happen. It's a crazy good. But you got to meet a unicorn, isn't that I right? I am a unicorn. suck if you die to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first attack with his horn. Dude, I hope Jeroen sees this. What's your team? You don't have your shield out. Uh, so that would make it what? Shields are two, so 16. Hard to hit. Up one. That's a hit. One, two. Or up two. Miss. So you get stabbed and kicked. <laughs> okay, um... Fate is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Fate is a DM. You, know you can come read Vote them. now. <laughs> yeah, vote now. Let me... Polls are open it's until tomorrow. All his fault. So you take... <laughs> 20 points of damage. <laughs> We're just like... Ah! And you are stabbed Ooh. and kicked. And then um, he's going to use a legendary action. Oh, Jesus Christ. To... A legendary action? Yeah, welcome to legendary creatures. They can make actions at the start of, at other people's turns. At the start of your turn, he's going to shroud himself in a shield. That seems unfair, but okay. <laughs> legendary creatures. Yeah. Legendary actions. All right. Um. So can I... Start with a rage. <laughs> just let the oh fine rage, <laughs> and then I honor your rage. <laughs> he says, <laughs> "Break the shield." That's a nat twenty, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, roll damage. All right, it's two d eight. Well, corn. Someone's about to kill another horse. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a save. <laughs> Well, no, my, remember, my bonus action is the rage, so I don't get to do the save. Now, I ask this question, just because I, I have to. Can I pump both charges into the one? No, you can only pump one at a time. Damn. Yeah, if I let you pump both, it'd be broken. Well, I just meant for this part for flavor. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Pump six charges. He only has two. <laughs> well, I guess I should roll for my second hit, too. Sure. That was cocked. Uh, that was not so good. That is. That was the same one's only eleven. Nope. At seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus five is sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then a charge is being pumped into it. Something. Yeah. 19, oh 20, 21, 20. That is 22. Okay. Seems to take that like a champ. It's turn. <laughs> Go do it again. <laughs> you just see him. I'm just going like, to step out. I'm just watching. <laughs> yeah. Hit, hit, hit. I'm just watching Woo! In my mind, it's where you take a, uh, a horse yeah. in general. Those plus sevens, man. And he wanted to go pet the unicorn, so. I wanted to go meet the unicorn. <laughs> yeah, but my husband, he wanted to go mm. pet the unicorn. Pet must mean something differently in Sword's Land. I'm gonna go pet that bear. <laughs> well, I'm saying originally, I thought you were going to, like, pet it or something, because I don't know what's your affixation with you. I didn't know you had the fixation with the unicorns. They're majestic war horses because they're already adorned with the swords. So nice. you take fixated on it. five from the hooves. Those aren't magical, but I'm going to do the full 12 points of uh, straight damage. You're going to take a total of 17. Take five and then 12. The horn is magical. <laughs> what are you at? 64. Yeah, his was way better than ours. Yeah, it was at a hundred. Um, he already did them down to 64. I think these hooves are magical, but that would be... This unicorn's not using magical hooves. <laughs> um, 
He's also going to um, and he's gonna at the start of your turn he's gonna legendary action to hoof you again. By well, the end of your turn. No wait. There you go. Alright. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Fifteen. Yep. Sixteen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a natural sixteen for the second yep. one. Both hit. He fails to save. I never thought I'd see a barbarian hiding in a corner. And I'll pump the second charge what? in this one. To You're supposed one. to pat the cold, wet nosies. This is boring. This is just us. It's just weird. Had it already. <laughs> I, why are you hitting it? Eight. I think it's why is it like 12. doing so much damage to him? It's a magical creature. No, Leon's talking oh, too. Oh, like, it looks like it's actually hurting him a little bit more. I mean. You yeah. said it did, it, did it pass it? it? No, it failed. Okay. So. Roll damage. Right, so I mean, 10, is he trying to kill it? 20, I hope not. 20, That'd be really sad. Two. I wonder if we can have it. Because this this went pretty well, my friend. What? Favorite. Nothing. Hold on. Let me do math. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 10. 22. With 22, plus another 10. 32. 32, plus 4. 36. Okay, as when you do that and strike, strike. It is going to immediately. Um, I feel like I'm a kid watching a school fight. <laughs> it's gonna bow to you. At the end, it's gonna go. When well, you see it magically start healing itself, I yield. You have proven yourself worthy of using that hammer. Please place it on the ground. Mm-hmm. Lay it on the ground. You see it rear up and stab into it with his horn as the broken and fix itself. Yay! I don't even know it's broken. Oh, no, yeah, it broke when guy. Thor used it as he a conduit. Did I am very grateful mm-hmm. for you uh, mending the hammer. It is anything to do for my liege's prodigy. Now, if you excuse me, I must go back to my post. Wait, before you go. Yes? Can I ask for one last small favor? Mm -hmm. Can I pet you? (laughs) (laughs) Roll for petting. (laughs) It's the softest thing you've ever touched. Ah! (laughs) So did like little (laughs) tears? <laughs> <laughs> May I meet you again one day, O oh brave warrior, Odin son? I imagine I will see you when I am ready to cross the the rainbow bridge, and I will be there to sing a warrior song. Goodbye, Xander. Bard. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> <laughs> And a puff of confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so confused. Your dad has stopped and was like, Because uh. <laughs> when you guys stop, everyone behind you stops. <laughs> so we're all just looking at it. <laughs> so everyone just all sword, find a unicorn, pet it, and it disappears. <laughs> um, s- Does this happen? S- son? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, I met a unicorn. I saw. <laughs> so you beat it up, too. Uh, it's complicated. Yeah, you care to explain that? They didn't get uh, enough back in. Uh, I mean, it, it kind of asked me to. What? It talks? Uh, it, it didn't braid. It was tele- telepathically. The unicorn asked you to fight it. It 
asked me to yeah, prove that I was worthy of the hammer Thor gave me, and then it attacked me first. Oh, right. Thor okay. should have guessed. Yeah, yeah. never mind. Uh, yeah. This, is, going, guys. this was the unicorn <laughs> that uh, guards the uh, the rainbow bridge then to which... The, the rainbow the what? The rainbow bridge? Yes, it's the uh, the bridge in which uh, the gods travel as well as the warriors. <laughs> they travel right? holding hands and skipping is it along? Right there? Hmm? Is it right there? No. The rainbow bridge tends to be wherever it is needed to lead to Asgard. At this moment, your pendant. <laughs> what was that? That would be a, a gift from Leon that is... Oh, yeah. Um, it tends to uh, glow when in the presence of of, of the gods. Um, He's gonna, Jarvis gonna blow up and point at. Listen here, you uh, gods, that, be good to my boy. That, that, that. Uh, it, it, it's not a walkie-talkie. What? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. It's not like a message spell. It's. It, uh, be good to him. Oh, yeah, okay then. He walks away. Like, <laughs> a little shock. Seems to be like. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess I, I, I'm worthy. Uh, I got to pet the unicorn, though. That was so soft. So soft. Hooray. Did you pet him the full wet nosey? I mean, that, you know, I felt a little room to boop him on the nose. But I just I, love that. I just met him. He... Not sure if he I mean, I, kind, I guess you could say I kind of booped him with the hammer, I guess, but. <clears throat> I guess I. <laughs> gonna walk alongside the cart as opposed to riding it. <laughs> Cal's got a little cabin fever right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a I just saw Thorn hit a unicorn with a hammer and then pet it. <laughs> I'm confused. And then it disappeared. And then it went, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hop back. <laughs> Continue. I guess I'm gonna hop back in the cart and uh Yeah, me too. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say a prayer. I'm so like, <laughs> what is going on? Why? How did I get here? When you pray, it, it glows. Your pendant glows. <laughs> um. No, no. It's it's the symbol of Thor. I just saw you do this part. As, <laughs> you, get, as you get closer, uh, two more days go by. So you still have. So we can say I take a longer rest, right? Yeah, oh, everyone takes a longer rest. <laughs> well, I'm the little one who's taking damage here. Two and a half more days go by. Yes, you still have about two and a half more. Um, as you're getting closer, the, the, the soft plains uh, clear closer to the ocean, which you can, if we look at the distance, you see the horizon, the ocean's there. Especially the, uh, the clo- like, you guys are taking along the edge until you have to go inward towards the mountain range. Um, as you get closer, the cragginess... Um, the, the, the plains and the forest begin to like die down. There's a lot more rough cracks, lo- rough uh, stone work. As um, well, let Leon do a perception check this time. Come on, rogue. You suck. What was it? That one. You're looking at. You're doing. You're doing a look around. You don't see anything in the distance. <laughs> I zone out. As you're looking get over the unicorn. Um, I'm just wondering about how like it an here. oak tree size ballista <laughs> hits next to your cart. Francesca goes, What in the good? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> I didn't see it. What do you mean? It is huge! Aren't you supposed to be the know. observant one here? Look. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even care. I don't even care. Can I tell where it's coming from? Like, what direction it came from by the angle? Mm-hmm. You see um, a large, um, that rocky way. plateau off um, to the north again. As you look now, actually paying attention, you see a stone giant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can they all see that, or just me? Well, everyone can now. Okay. Uh... Uh... Can we just do that? Uh, 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 Turin! 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 Dad, Dad, I think we got... Mm-hmm. Uh, we Ooh. didn't say we were going to fight, so everybody else is rested. Ooh. Is that a stone giant? Yeah, Dad, I think this is uh, one of those moments where you and I should do some talking here. Probably. Is there <laughs> something you know? We, we, we speak, speak giant. giant. Oh. 
I was thinking Goliath. Oh, we are, yes. we are descendants of giants. Yeah. Goliaths are... <laughs> We're the strongest of your size. <laughs> His size, sure. <laughs> I chuckle at <laughs> like... Okay, strongest of... I chuckle because you did not beat him. Calvin was taking like an afternoon siesta and the car is like... <laughs> You're woken up by a... <laughs> So I hear something about giants, and I'm like, you guys got that, right? <laughs> yeah, um, okay, cool. Could you, could you come with us? Are you able to Just come to with us? Just to communicate, if we're talking, could you communicate back? Yes. Thank you. Well, Get here we go. <laughs> Are we all going? Or I just wonder if we're related. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, got it. I'm going to stay behind. Just... Cal pulls out flask. No drinking. Just a little. It helps me talk better, okay? You're not, you're talking to them, not to the giant. Right, I'm talking to you guys, right? No, yeah. you're, ta- you're going to be talking to the group. Right, but still talking with you guys, right? You're not going to be beside us. No, you could get crushed. <laughs> I thought you'd ask, you just asked me to no, speak like along halfway. with us and oh, listen. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, being someone yeah. who's a stealthy, she's very blunt. I'm tired. <laughs> You see, I have been giddy. trapped in the car with these guys <laughs> yeah, for six days. Giant. Ah, I'm going to go meet our ancestors. I, so still I'm going to cake. cloak up uh, more to the crag colors and pass without trace. Gotcha. Ah, Warlock's balance. <laughs> so you pass without trace. Uh, you just on you or... No, just on you, I imagine. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. a little more brash. So, um... As you're walking up, you hear a shout. Uh, Cal, you don't understand... You just hear like, Unga da runkaka! As you hear like, Step no further! Uh, I, I, don't, I guess I will reply in giant, We are not here to harm or, or to uh, trespass on your land. Stops. Aruka deskaka? You understand me? We are. Uh, people known as Goliaths. We are descendants of giants. We inhabit the land just south of here, known as the Badlands, to the common people of the rest of the land. You understand? Mm. Mm-hmm. I just Dabba hear, I just hear who do who do. Why do they want me to relay anything? I don't understand anything. Is it the Badlands? Alliance? That is correct. I am Sorn Thunderfist, and this is my father, Jeroen Bearskinner. Jeroen Ya Turokoke Naka. That, that was Jeroen Bearskinner? Jerokoke? That would be correct. See, he has a large boulder. <laughs> Looks down. Gurunta! You see three more. Gurunta. <laughs> Gurunta. No, Gurunta. <laughs> um, this is not an actual giant. Giant doesn't have like a. I don't. If anyone can actually. We're speak just giant, like caveman again. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if you can actually speak giant, cool to you. We just translate to Klingon. Be close I enough. Made so I made this dialect myself. <laughs> um, you see three more varying sizes. You see. Um, two two younger giants, a female giant in this one. Um, all giant, all giant, even kid. a kid. Because are giants considered large? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, no, did, uh, they're they're huge. Okay, I was gonna say I was pretty sure they were bigger than large. They're huge. What are you saying? I'm whispering. There's more. <laughs> I'm sure we can see them at that at that <laughs> size. Isn't that like appear over the horizon? There's more of them. We can see that. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> um, do you know my family? It's like, they look down and go, We're your cousins. <laughs> it's like, uh, Where are you going to say in common to you? We're cousins. <laughs> I, I, I heard. I know. I heard that. <laughs> I just wanted to say it out loud in yeah. case anyone else is wondering what's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're cousins. Cal, like, tucks the knife back in. 
<laughs> um, I wonder if we can get them to help us. That's a possibility. Uh, may we approach closer? With Come, them? brother! <laughs> and we'll start walking over. Drew's going to be like, we don't need anyone else with us anymore. <laughs> Cal will take her cue to go back to her nap. Now Soren, like, <laughs> abandons the group. So you um, walk up to the giants. As you crest over the hill, you see um, built into, one, like, a larger, like, rocky crag is a small house. Well, Ooh. small. A small giant, giant. A small giant's house. It's like a mansion. It is us. huge. <laughs> Big enough to house a giant family. You are correct. <laughs> um... And they look at you and go, we don't have any furniture for you. That, uh, it would be weird if we did. <laughs> what is this, furniture for ants? Everyone's like, mm-hmm. well, we can stand. <laughs> no. The, no. The, the, uh, the, the, the mother. What brings you out here? We are here on a mission to uh, try and def- uh, rid these mountains of an evil presence. Those dogs? Are, are, are we are the gnolls? We do know that they have been a problem. Yes. Well, they're... Because Yangu is the father of gnolls. Yes. Uh, they're, uh, how we should say, an... Uh-huh. Ancestral father, the demon lord Yangu, is held up in a fortress in the top of the Ramhorn Mountains, and we are being sent to rid. They cause trouble for us. I, I, I have Indeed, to, they do. I imagine they, they do. Um, so we have uh, many forces of people that we have gathered, including uh, my father Jeroon. And some of his clan of the uh, of the Chiro Cocaine and others uh, from the Badlands to assist us. Um, we are heading into a battle that we do not know how bad it will be, but it is probably going to be pretty bad. But our goal is to defeat uh, the forces that are there. Do you require assistance? I mean, I I would never say no to help from family. <laughs> Clearly, as... We've been meaning to go south to visit. I mean, the days do get away from us, and visiting can be hard. <laughs> we thought it would be bad if we showed up. Uh, I mean, we, we had some... Your great-great-great-great-grandfather. My family. Ah. This is the wife. It is lovely to meet you. I know Father has spoken It long. is weird to see such small, but so kin. Ah, uh, it must be the, the food. <laughs> mm, you must eat small things. Make yeah. you small. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't argue with your logic. <laughs> Science. We help make path? I mean, that is always greatly... Appreciated. We are currently uh, on our way to a old civilization from tiny people at base of mountain, uh, where they are said to have set up to defeat uh, demons and evil and such that taints this land. Uh, in hopes of we help keep safe. Can't go in mountain. We're too big. Uh, there's nothing the there. kids go <laughs> yeah <laughs> even they are too big they can destroy it they have magic we don't um, just large rocks hey nothing wrong with a big rock I they t- have large rocks too if you know what I'm saying <laughs> I mean few things can defeat a large rock coming from them from all the way up there. We <laughs> take care of birds. Ah, Keep you safe. The rocks. The other kind of rocks. Cal's bird sense tingles back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, big wings. Yes. Big wings. Oh. Yes, for rock. some reason they call no, them... Oh, point rock. Yeah, for some reason the other small people call them rocks. No, rock. Yes, I agree. Your people are dumb. That, no, not us. We, we agree with you. They are big wings, but... Your people are the people dumb. Yes. <laughs> we travel with you Dude. to Base Mountain and protect from birds. If uh, we, we would... keep birds, deal, deal. <laughs> <laughs> we know this custom, small people. We <laughs> talk with you, small people. Reach out my hand, grab the, just the pen. <laughs> Good. You just sign a deal. When we leave now, um, if you are ready to continue travels. Our house isn't going anywhere. <laughs> uh, it's built like mountain. <laughs> <laughs> mountain stronger though. Mountain, mountain all rock. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we start going back and pick up like trees, <laughs> death clubs. <laughs> you see, Jerun, Sorn, and the mother and father come over. Because they tell you to stay here. Don't go anywhere. Eat. Eat the elephants we caught. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> On my way back, by the way, I've let the others know that they're cousins. Use your... <laughs> Chaturanga Delru. As their booming voice just talks to all of you. You see Goliath, like a bunch of Goliaths are like, I'm just gonna get you. like, <laughs> Cousins! <laughs> all the Goliaths are like, ah! <laughs> and like, the giants are like, There are so many of you! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, family! As they're just speaking in giant. Yeah, I got back in the car. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> You get back in and I'm like, Hell of a family reunion, huh? Yeah, I just can't. I mean, yeah, it's go. It's all I'm something. confused. Oh, family. How? How what? How family? How are you? They're that big. You're this big. Uh, How did my that family out. tree work? <laughs> uh, small food? <laughs> <laughs> because she should be oh, eating yeah, those <laughs> I know how I was made. Mm -hmm. How did you or how did Goliath thought? I know you thought we were big. If you're related to giants, how did who fucked the giant? <laughs> That's what I was gonna... uh, probably a slightly smaller giant. And then what you think it just went down from there? Uh, it's usually how breeding works. That's so strange. So it went down. You're a person there. made of water. I'm made of the elements. Yeah, that's not strange. Oh, but a tiny giant is really weird. I'm just, it's weird <laughs> to think about a giant having, it, it, no, never mind. Our whole, like, group is weird. Yes, the, uh, our, our cousins here have, uh, offered to assist us. Did you get their names? Ah, uh, that is cousin one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big well, we, did, we didn't get a whole lot of chance to exchange pleasantries outside of our, our names after we clarified who we were. We will be discussing them. Uh, more with them as we go. Jeroen walked over. We didn't get their names. I got their names. I knew they would die on you for that. <laughs> <laughs> what are their names? Hey, Jeroen. Dad. You know what would be really cool? That they'd probably get a kick out of? If you did, did your, your ancestral thing. And sure, maybe they'll recognize more people. First, let me tell you their names. Okay, cool. <laughs> we have Zarkoth, the boy. Zarkoth. And Zandu, the woman. Zarkov and Zandu. Do it now? Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, they might get a kick out of it. Might startle them a bit. Hey, guys! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Hmm! Is it? Hmm! Grandpa! <laughs> you just hear, like, Gondu? Mm -hmm. Yeah! 
They like. Mm. What? Is Take away. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to explain. Apparently, they didn't like our family. Oh. Somebody in there they don't like. Oh. They didn't. They didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> They're the ones that fucked me up. <laughs> I guess. Um, we move on, right? Yep. All right, let's go. <laughs> I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Bad idea. What? I thought they might appreciate it, that you were in tune with your ancestry. Uh, I don't think they care about that much. Oh, they were excited when they saw us. Because <laughs> we're alive. <laughs> they knew your name. No, I, I mean, because we're alive. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you now have... <laughs> Two giants. Two giants with you. Come out as now, uh, King's Guard. <laughs> Stop! Never mind! Okay, <laughs> last one. Please be something totally not horrible. Or weird. It's gonna be the worst. It's the worst. I saw an eye twitch. I did too. <laughs> I saw an eye twitch. And the sigh. Now, this is either gonna be. We we locked out or we did. What does that I mean? I think we locked out. Yeah, what does that mean? A natural twenty for you or a natural twenty for us? Oh, oh boy. no. Lovely. It's not combat. It's one of the non combat ones. We'll go through out of game. We'll go through you know, I'll go through this whole list with you. Um So as you approach and as you are about one day away from the White Talon base. So you'll reach the White Talon base around 3 p.m. the following day. The giants have just been with you. They just <laughs> mold earth around them pretty much and stay with you guys. You've gotten to know them. You've gotten to, you know, learn that they, they're they stone giants. They were kicked out of the, the mountain range. Um, they are a part of the more um, western part of the mountain range. Um, there's a few other ones that are there, but they left because they had kids, and they wanted to protect them. Mm. Um, you learn that um, a few of uh, they they've made like their own little like stone giant stronghold, mm. um, and they're doing everything they can. So you become a little more friendly. They're gonna they're gonna go with the battalion. Like um, they're gonna go with Poe, and it was Poe and. Grom Tags team mm. up the past the rocks. They're gonna take care of the the rocks. So that's a big help. Literally. So <laughs> uh, as the last night, you guys are um, the rain hasn't stopped. You guys are in your cabin. I mean, in your um, tent cart. 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 And it's about midnight. Everyone else has gone to sleep. The rain is just hit from the side. Um, you hear a familiar laugh. Oh, great. <laughs> well, quite an army we have, don't we? And fuck. As you see, as you all wake up, he's sitting there inside your cart. Pulls out flask. For those of you, ah, 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 sober now. You want some? No. <laughs> Leon pulls out the rock as the, the the stunning stark <laughs> white tiefling fox sits there you see Francesca is not waking up so we're here how's everyone doing I see you have some new big friends that would help How are you guys doing? How 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 are you doing? Did 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 mother take care of you all right when she sent you back? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not going to cause any problem. <laughs> what about you? Great. Good. And you? <sighs> Big fella, you two getting along all right? Yes, I a bit more. I'm so glad Kiki is back, aren't you? I don't think I believe you, but, uh, sure. <laughs> I'm glad that everything worked out, and after the bargain that was made, she's back. 
I took care of it so she didn't remember anything, but it'd be a real shame if she had nightmares. And Liren, how are you doing? Your father sends his regards to you. Liren goes over to you. <laughs> what does he mean? What do you mean, what does he mean? Like, is he being serious regards, or is he being like a dick? I don't know. Probably being a dick. Probably both. Yeah, yeah, I'm in both. I'm just, I'm gonna check in on you, see how you guys are doing. Let you know that, you know, time, you got some time still to go into those mountains. At this point, the mountains are in the distance. You can see them crest to get up in there and kill Yangu. But it was take him down to Peg, not necessarily Yeah, you know I mean, him. kill his avatar, take him down to Peg. Hmm. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing dance. Mother and I had a nice chat. She's still disappointed that you're with him. But is nonetheless proud of your growth and can't wait to see you grow more. She does have plans for you. And how is that bitch in your arm? Uh, Shalik, she's, uh, she's fine. Shame. Okay. What, are you scared to talk to me? Go no, ahead. No, it's not Leans that. in as, as, a, as a purple black mage hand comes over to your hand, your face. No, no, look at me. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wait a second, did he ask a question? I mean, you were just, like, looking down, like... Oh, no, I was, sorry, I was looking at the dice. I'm like, so... Yeah. Tell me more. What is your relation with Shalik? Um, you see him apparate a cup, a glass into his hand. So I killed a guy. The curse mark got on my arm. And she's been there ever since. Oh. And then she helped me save a few people and just, we've been working together. Hey, you'd be much better on our side. What do you mean? Oh, working with me? Your talents would not go to waste. I can't say anything. I can actually cool, no. I can help purge you of that. Um, I think for now I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with Shalik. But I will his mage hand back. Ah, oh, what a shame. I I'll remember that. I appreciate the offer. As you should. I would happily rid that bitch from existence. How's your dad? He's fine. That's good. I hope he makes it through this. It would be a real shame if he didn't. I'm not going to do anything, of course. I want you to succeed. Rah, rah, Stormbreakers, and all that. Why are you so quiet? The only time you guys are rearing to talk to me. Uh, just trying to get her head in the game? I mean, you still have a day's travel. What? <laughs> What could I possibly do to help you? Let me know. What can I do to help? You wouldn't happen to know where uh, this weapon is, would you? Weapon? Oh, you looking for a weapon? Just any like good weapon. To... Deception. I'm, I'm looking. Why do we let Leon weapon. talk? We should not let yes. Leon talk. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you should know. By uh, now, not uh, to even say 17. anything while he's around. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this took a turn. God damn it. God Are you looking for something it. that you didn't tell me about? I thought you guys knew. I told him. Huh? No, why would we tell him about Don't worry. That? Don't, no, no, no. No. It's okay, Soren. It's okay, Gamini. What kind of sword? What kind of blade? Maybe I can help you. I don't think you can help. Are you sure? You probably wouldn't be able to touch it. Neither would I. If you're looking for that blade. Oh, crap. And oh. then, of course, you got to say it. He'd already let the cat on uh, We could still avoid it. Uh, still we thought it might be 
Useful helpful. against Yangu. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Do I tell mother? Do I not? Do I tell mother? Do I not? I'm probably going to have to tell her. Of course. If something were to happen to the blade after you're done with it, then everything would be fine. What do you mean, happen to her? <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't. I was told not to directly interfere and drive your life. Mother seems to have an affinity with you. But what if we want to keep the blade? Then I would have issue with it. Why? Why would you need it? Well, I mean, Yangu is not the only demon lord that could be an issue. Yes. I mean, there's Mephistopheles. I'm assuming you're also meaning your father. Yes. Well, right now yeah, he's I not the one sitting. Didn't come to harm. So can't or won't. I won't. I mean, like she said, Mephistopheles is sending people after us already too. And I mean, so. there's like what tons of demons. There are, but these two in particular are ones that Mother has deemed dangerous to the order. Well, perhaps then you should let us keep us and keep it until we take. No, the we would keep it. Oh, don't trust that. We would keep it, and then if you needed it, we would. You guys, you guys, loan it back on some sort of agreement. Hmm. No, want that? No. Plus, you guys couldn't even touch it. We have those who can. I'm going to still say I don't like the idea of them having it. I am right here. Choice. And Please, I, speak to me directly. Um, I can converse with my group. What is it? Group decision here. I don't think we have a choice. As your benefactor and owner, you can speak with me. Right, but if we finish this, we are not yours. If... And now that I know that you're looking for this blade, when you attain it, you will still be mine, therefore it will be mine. No, we are yours. Our equipment is not. No, wait, wait, wait. We're nobodies. I mean, you're somebody's. Whipping bitch. As a zone. Mm. Pull that flask. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want information on it? If you can apply it, or right. don't give him another reason to have more over us. Okay, it fine. does not come free. Never if you've learned anything, nothing is free. I mean, all right, it's fine. fine. That's a shame. You're so spiteful towards me. I don't understand why. I have given you back Kikio. I have helped you along your journey. If anything, I've done nothing to you. You have put us on this journey. You had taken Kikyo. And I've returned her. You're uh, almost finished that wasn't even your, your choice. But I'm the one who did it. I could have left her with all of those memories. She wouldn't have them if you didn't take her in the first place. The deal was not mine. Technically it was. I didn't say yes to you it. You offered it to me. I yeah, offered, technically that makes it your deal. You didn't have to say yes. And you didn't did have you? to make that deal. Mm, yeah, but we all know that I'm not smart. <laughs> yes, you took his Azel's back. Well, there's other reasons why I'm not smart too, but yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no need to have such animosity towards me. Why, you you have put us in this path and have threatened to kill us if we don't finish it. I think I am given every reason to be no. spiteful. At this point, I've done a lot of good for you. And a whole lot of bad. <laughs> if it wasn't for me putting you on this path, Yangu would have taken over this part of the continent and you all would be dead. Mm. Who is going to stop him? Apparently you guys want him stopped, so you guys could have done it. We cannot directly... In I don't think you understand politics. I can't directly interfere, neither can any demon lord, and Frank interfere with Yangu, for he is one of them. Except mm -hmm. Mephistopheles and Yangu can interfere with one another? Yeah. They are at war with each other, and the greater hierarchy deems it not necessary. Still, that kind of falls into your... I don't know politics. Mm -hmm. then again, Let's I... say, if we want to remain balanced and have Lilith be impartial, we need third parties to intervene for us. 
Yeah, the difference is you didn't ask, you forced. <laughs> Would you have said yes if I asked? If Maybe. You made, if you made a compelling argument. If you even really? tried. If you would have known who I am. Yeah, actually, maybe. I trusted Hello? one tiefling. I'm a tiefling. Why would it matter? Don't let me in the tieflings. Okay, I'm also a demonic child. <laughs> Don't let me in with them either. <laughs> Jesus. Fine. I won't pretend to understand, but... I am not... Nope. You see, like... Part of his neck started to twinge a little bit. Oh, I can't talk about that. I'm a different breed. And that's all you need to know. Well, whatever it is, you didn't even ask first. <laughs> well, circumstances were that you lied to me, and so I took it as an event. Made a mistake. See, this is good open dialogue between us. We're getting somewhere. You and I, Cal, have a lot in common. I'll take that as an agreement. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> if you find the sword and give it to me, after you're done with it, I will make sure Nothing happens to your group within my power for a while. Can we consider it? I can't set foot inside the mountain range. I just mean... You know me, I'm always one to rush into a deal. Maybe we should take five minutes to discuss this. Fine. Five minutes to discuss, but... I think the five minutes was an exaggeration. Not no, an five minutes to discuss should be enough. You guys, that's plenty of time. I will be outside. Cal, come talk to me when you've decided. Alone. As you see him stand up. He's wearing his more like regal attire, not really his battle attire, as he steps out of the cabin, or out of the cart. Liren's like, oh my god. That was weird. Yeah. He didn't... He wasn't mean to us. He wasn't... Yeah, is there something going on with him? I don't know. I was kind of feeling like maybe there was something going on with him. I don't know. Either way, I still don't want him to have the sword. I don't think we have an option. We kind of do. What, fight him? No. He is asking for us to do it, and he is trying to make a deal. He wouldn't I mean, be doing it. him demanding it. Until he gets rid of these, he can't really do much. I think we're right. kind of bound to it. Ah, we're bound to... This is for one thing. He can add that to the clause, but until then, until we agree to it, it's not part of it. I'm just saying, I don't know if we actually have an option. I mean, he can probably just take it from us. He can try, but and he can't touch it. No. I mean, he, and like we said, he, he he said he can't even step into the mountain range itself. He can't touch the blade. He can certainly try to have someone take it from us. But with a small army, I'm not sure how likely that's going to work. Uh, well, I don't know. He seems like the patient type. He'd probably find He'd probably a time wait. that we were vulnerable and just take it anyway. You guys can leave. I mean, I'm fine with living in the mountains. <laughs> I see we vote on this. Yeah, they can come to the mountains and get me. <laughs> I feel like if we don't give it to him, things would just get worse I think for us. If we can give it to him in good con if we if it makes sense to give it to him, we do. It doesn't make sense to give it to him. I if mean, we can find a workaround, then we'll find a workaround. He like said that we could borrow Call. it. Yeah. And he said he would make sure nothing happens to our group. Those are two things That's that I'm not exactly opposed threat. to. That's a big threat. But he said nothing will happen to us for a while. I, mean within for his it. control. If yeah. we, I mean, Meaning if Mesopotamia or Tenevillis goes, fuck you guys, well, and decides to do something is, to me. Are they related? Are we re well, technically, are you related? Are they related? Right? Yes. That, I don't understand how they're related. Okay. Tenevillis. Lilith is my great-grandmother. Yes. Fox is Lilith's son. Mm, sure about that? I mean, that's what he says. Oh, yeah, you're right. He also says he's a different 
Braves? I yeah, think. I don't... He's a different breed. I don't know breed. what the hell that means. So, Titavilla is part of that, I'd imagine. Yes. Because he's... his family can't touch us. That means Titavilla can't touch us, which means we don't have to worry about Mephistopheles. Right? I mean, Titavilus has already tried, though. Yeah, and but so is Mephistopheles. Like before the deal. And like they said, any third party person Have you talked can still to Titavilus before that mm, all happened? No. He hasn't done anything since, right? Oh, well. I'm assuming I still have, like, a scar on my forehead. I'd be like, well, you know. Okay, other than that. He hasn't. What? Well, unless it was the birds. Yeah, probably. Okay, so maybe after this, maybe we can add that into it. If we talk, say yes. We can say, you can't hurt us, Lilith can't hurt us, Tidavillas can't hurt us. Yeah, better than something? I'm not here to continue making deals with Fox. Can we just cut the contract if we give him the sword? I mean, the contract ends once you take out Yangu. Right. Supposedly, so, doesn't add more to it. No, that's, no, that's what the that, seal is bound to. That's what yeah, the seal is bound to him. Once we hold up our end of the bargain of that, the seal is done. But depending on our decision tonight, he might change it. He can't. It's, I uh, particularly, it's a I don't want to piss okay. off Lilith. Yeah, that sounds bad. Yeah, I can't Everything is bad. Okay, but... Okay, you know how you think of Thor? Right? As like this right. strong, powerful god. Lilith's like the mother of demons. Right, and if I decided to give them a weapon that could kill other gods of the Asgards, would that be a good decision to do? It's a weapon that can hurt evil. I can see why they would want it, because they wouldn't want it used against them. And you know what we tend to fight? Evil. Evil. But there are other weapons, too. Uh, Not ones in our grasp. She's got one. That's... Hers, yes. I mean, not wrong. This is, I, got, I hate to say it, but dad's. Which he's not happy she Which has. Which is great. And he's bound to my soul, so. You know what's better than one sword that fights evil? I say we put it to a vote. I'm forgiving it. Yeah. Well, guess what? There's only one of us. I could probably wield it well enough to actually make any matter. I mean, I mean, he's got a cleric in his soul. Yeah, I'm not that... bound by blood to demons. No. I was raised by them, but I have no affiliation. <laughs> if you cut me, I'm going to bleed the same as... More than right. likely, there's only one of us who can't wield it. Yes, but I said with ability outside of maybe Lyran. I can try. We can give it a shot. No offense. But I feel like if I can have both? I mean, I, I don't know. It's something. If I can use one or the other. Because he's already afraid of me then. If I have it again, if I have the other one, maybe it'll be super afraid of You'll me. only have it for as long as they deem necessary. And when we need well, it most, they will not give it to us. But maybe there's a way to work around that. In what way is it going to be work around? We make this deal. Who knows? I could absorb that one in my soul. We're running out of time. Right. And when that time runs out and they have possession of this, who's going to say they're actually going to give it back to us? When we no, I mean, it? we're running out of time to let Fox know our choice. I'm well aware of that. I mean, Fox seems to hold up deals pretty well. Does he? Because right now he's got us kind of stuck in a situation here. No, but I mean, what I'm saying is he's a stickler for him. He drives a hard bargain, but he's stuck with it. I'm not making more deals with this man. Fine. Don't. I will. Well, you have to go and talk to him anyways. I mean, my soul's already tainted. It doesn't really matter. Now we voted. Then you cannot ask for my help to get the sword if you're just going to give it away to demons. Well, we'll do what we can, and I will see if I can't keep it. If anything, we'll trade it. I'll bound it to my soul. He said unless we can't give it to him, and if it's in my soul, we can't give it to him. Oh, he'll rip that right out. He can have this one. Yes, let's give it back to the guy that wants it to take over the planet. <laughs> Soren, you, 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 you're sitting between a rock and a hard place, and you're and in you the guys rocks. just want to deal both. <laughs> what would you have us do? Not make the deal. But then what will be? He's the bound to his other deals. He's, he's a stickler to it. I'm gonna get up and walk out. I okay. All right. Good luck. You see him sitting, uh, like standing out there with a pair, like a parasol, walking in the rain. Deal. 
There's a little bit of unease on this. Between who? And Liren? No. Oh. What, the umbrella. what can that sword, the weapon, whatever... What can it really do? Yeah. Rend the soul of a demon and make it intransmutable and non-existent. And what can it do to things besides demons? A lot of damage. It's a sword. Right. Well, other than demons, anything unholy, really, it can do that with. Demons, devils, undead. Some of us are more reluctant to make this agreement than others. I said you could have it back. What have I not followed a deal? It's, it's what I'm founded on. Found mine. My very existence is a deal of itself. So I stick with them. I understand that. I guess, uh, well, you know, majority rules. So, hey, why not deal? You're not gonna put another mark on me, are no, you? No, I can't do more than one at a time, anyways. All right. If possible, to give it to me, will. If possible. If possible. If possible. That's the deal. Right. Underlined. If possible. And uh, can you perception? Uh, yeah, perception check. Uh, not nat twenty. You look down on the ground. You're standing within a magic circle. Like, not a mad, the spell magic circle, but you're standing within a bunch of runes, of uh, demonic runes and everything. What is this? I did it so Lilith couldn't see us. Okay. I can't tell your group. I'm sorry. I can't tell As you them. see, it, like, starts to fade down. I don't have much time. I'm not a tiefling. I was a human. I made a deal. I'm stuck with this now. I have to work for it. I'm trying to give you every benefit I can. But I can't disobey her ever. Or she'll kill her. And I can't do that. Kill who? Can't talk about it. Let me know how I can help. As the magic phase. So yes, the deal has been made. I'll expect the sword as payment for letting me use it. If it's in good condition, and if it's usable or takeable by us, then we shall take it. I will do my darndest to make sure it gets back in good condition for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just out of character. You know, I'm actually stage. starting to enjoy these nicknames. You are pain in my side. Yeah. And ass. That's one thing we have in common. <laughs> I hate you. Hate you too. You cause so many problems. So do you. Mm. As you um, turn back and just hear. You can teleport. <laughs> What's a plane or teleport? <laughs> so like, depending on the plane, you couldn't exist there. I'm gonna just like look nah, back, just... make sure he's gone, mm-hmm. and then just start walking. You back. see a small like scorch mark on the ground. Walk back towards the cart. How'd it go? Well, it's done. What, do you, what was the exact deal he said? We will return the sword, if possible, in decent condition. So try and absorb it. If possible. If possible. She looks at her. She looks at the rapier. Do you think we can destroy this? Can't we have both? I don't want I that sword he's, falling back into the I imagine he's going to want one. So Maybe we should see which one's better. But I really don't want to us having that back. So if anything, I'll take that one and we'll destroy this one. If we can. Yeah. And then... Whoopsie. No sword. Yep. Whoopsie. Not a sword. What if he just takes it from you? Which one? My one bound to me? He yeah. said it has to be in good condition and be able to be given. If I can't give it. Or that he could take... I think he said he could take it. Not if it's bound to me. Mm-hmm. 
how you know if, our lives aren't if worth he it. promised to Davilis and himself couldn't hurt me and oh, I'm part of that group they can't take it that's actually a good point kind of smart trying to get back at that bastard anything else that was it yeah okay <sighs> what a interesting night interesting week understatement Unicorns and giants. Unicorns, giants, knights, fucking fox. Well, I guess we turn in for the night, right? We go back to bed? Francesca's yeah. still out. Medicine check? She did. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it's 18. She is very much alive. When you get close, you get the uneasy sense that she is not asleep of her own accord. <laughs> As if she was... Y- your brain puts it together, she woke up first. Oh. And then was... Put to sleep. <laughs> not permanently. I'm pretty sure Fox knocks her out. Do you think it'll wear off? <laughs> I hope so. I don't... Big shock. She's gonna go, uh... I'm just gonna... Shapes and water. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. You imagine you woke her up now? She's like, God damn it! I I'm wonder if go back to sleep. Just take some time. It's been raining a lot. I, I actually have been practicing with my water shape. You guys want something cool? Water sure. Yeah. She's gonna do a performance check. <laughs> she wet, she wets her pain. Oh no! How could I? <laughs> Not bad. She, you see her, and she makes, um, she holds up and she, like, makes the group, like the Stormbreakers, like a little, like, portrait out of water. Uh, That's kind of cool. I like it. Nice. Uh, 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 It's only because there's so much rain. (laughs) Throws it out. Well, um, um, what did you say, Francesca is unconscious? Yes. Yes. Would my ghost lantern have effect on yeah. that? Oh, okay. that's not that I kind of asking. unconscious. That's why I was She's asking. technically unconscious because she's asleep. But she's not unconscious like she's <laughs> She's not <laughs> conscious, <laughs> not unconscious. Could somebody do an arcana check? I'm a plus zero. Let's see. I'll go for it. There's, I've been studying a lot more of my books. <laughs> Chancy Brew tells me a lot. <laughs> what did you want to know? I just... Wanted to know if you had any idea when she might wake up. If she might wake up. <laughs> she pulls out her sword. Taps, like, stabs her. around. Stabs her a few more times. <laughs> yeah, Probably she... not. <laughs> not anymore. Probably within, like, ten hours. Let her sleep. It's a long time. Well, we have a bit of a journey left ahead of us. Yeah, that's true. So, I guess we should plan... Tomorrow, huh? Yeah. So. Did he give any indication of what to do about tomorrow, or no? Just stuck to the deal? I just realized he still didn't give us any information. Well, I mean, you kind of played your hand. And by played your hand, I mean, we were playing poker and you went, look, a royal flush. No, more like <laughs> you, you were like, I got two sixes, guys. No, I call. that sword's a royal. <laughs> I don't play poker. So I don't understand. <laughs> didn't follow up on that. Okay. No, no problems. So I'm going with the postman to the White Talon mm-hmm. to discuss them possibly helping us. Uh huh. And worst comes to worst, uh, they say no. The postman overthrow them anyway, and uh, okay. then they pay my fine at some point. Uh, then we continue into the thing with the place and the things and then we said. get the stuff and then we go and we fight some things. I never said I was a tactician, alright? I mean, it sounds about right. What? What? Focus are you? What do you mean? Alcohol. <laughs> what do you mean with focus? Well, I mean, like, you're good at sneaking, but like, is that it? I mean, I like I like 
knives and bad decisions. Weapons are cool and I don't think we've ever really talked about <laughs> like what, what each we of us do. are good at. Yeah. We kinda just roll with it. That's actually We should probably point. plan a bit. I mean, we both are stealthy people. <laughs> yeah, but that changed now that you have all of that. And you have points to your book. Yeah. You think maybe I should ask Azazel? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to figure out our dynamic now. I mean... I mean, yours, I'm not going to lie, our dynamic's pretty easy. I can only heal a little bit. Better than me. I can do a little healing, but actually, I think most of the magic that Azazel's given me is long range. That's useful, though, right? Yeah. If I, I mean, if we're up close, long range, hang back in the shadows, try to hide, potentially get some long distance melee sneak attacks or ranged weapon sneak attacks, and then incorporate some spells into that. Sounds good. What about you? Um, mainly healing, and then I have a one kind of medium range and just a few fire things I can do. And you can teleport. And can Hit things really them. hard. I can stab things. And I'll stab them. Yeah. yeah. Stab. Hit. Stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab shooty, shooty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But done it all more. Let's try not to bunch up then. Yeah. I mean, some of those places are probably going to be tight corridor, so... Maybe we should keep a small distance. Well, I was going to try to give us a little bit of extra stealth with one of my spells. Especially because of the armor you're wearing. Clang, clang, Probably clang, smart. Because the trolley. Probably mm -hmm. smart. So, maybe for the tight corridors, we stick together. And then once we're actually in more open spaces, we keep a little separation. Sounds good. Uh, going through doors, maybe better to have us check for traps. Yeah. And then once we get in, you guys are front line. Sounds like a plan. I mean, if it's like one or two, I think let's we'd probably it. be best off at getting that first attack. And let's... Maybe we should all be conscientious to stick near the one that has more healing than the rest of us. I'm going to point to Frank. You also have to room, so... Well, he's going to be on the front lines of you guys. Yeah, I'm just going to count him as second to learn. Sword two. Or would it be Jeroon 2? Alder Sorn? Uh, Jeroon 2. So yeah. Jeroon 1 and Jeroon 2. Jor... Jor... Jeroon Thor. Jethor. Jethor. Thoroon. I like Thoroon. 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 <coughs> Jeroon and Thoroon. Good. And then Francesca will do whatever she does. Right. Her thing. I don't... Which I don't... I don't really know what really that is. That is, yeah. Well, that is... Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go sit outside for a bit. Uh, does that mean you're taking watch? Yeah, not sure. You, you want company? If you want. I'll join you. Well, good night, boys. What? Good night, boys. Oh, good night. You said it fast. Well, before, I, before I walk out of the thing, I'm going to like turn to Soren and be like, I know this isn't what you wanted. So we're just going to lay down and roll over and face in a different direction. Does nobody understand majority rules? I'm just walking. Yeah, we aren't just sitting out there with the water hitting her. Want to drink? I'm good. Well, then don't mind if I do. <laughs> I hate seeing him. Hmm. Fox. Yeah, same. Usually bad things happen. <laughs> See, you can't go with that. He was weird. Yeah, a little strange, but uh, he's kind of weird in, in the first place, so, you know. Yeah, I guess. What can you do? Not let a murderous demon take control of us. Right. If possible. Yeah. Well, as if. Roll for seven, Jeff. Uh, 25. You just see, as I mean, it's midnight. It's middle of the night. There's nothing too much. You just see some wolves run off in the distance. Uh, they seem to be chasing some sort of deer. Or is it? So you're gonna look and go, which one of the others do you think is us? But the wolves? And for, are we the wolves or the deer? I don't think we're either. I think we're the grass that they're running on. Woke! <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad, but 
That's the powerful words. I mean, think about it. Like, when was the last day you just, like, felt safe? Most of my life, I haven't. Yeah. I mean, being around you guys makes me feel better. Well, I would somewhat disagree, but... Well, being around you is nice. I've been really trying. I'm the first person ever to say that to me. Cal's just gonna laugh. Be like, no one thinks that. I do. Mm-hmm. I have. I mean, we're not blood family, but I feel like I have a sister. Aww. Yeah, you're my sister. That's, that's kind of why. I'm... Sister from another mister. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of why I brought you back, though. You know, you're like the closest thing I actually have to a family. Well. You're all I've got. So if I have to die again to keep you alive, I will. You don't have to do that. If you need, during any of the battle coming up, especially in Gangu, if you need somewhere to hide, I'd be happy. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I could take seeing you go down again, Laren. I'd rather me go down than you go down. I don't think I could bring you back again. Then so be it. I have nobody. At least you have your mother. If I go down so you can have her still, then I'll do it. You have me. But if I lose you, then I have no one. You got Sorn and Leon. And even Bilal liked you more than he liked the rest of us. Well, I... And there's Gromtag. He seems to like... What's up with that, anyway? Is there a little... Don't feel anything for him? No. No. Just friend. I don't feel like anything towards anyone right now. Yeah, I get that. Except for you, Cal. (laughs) (laughs) What a turn of events. Sisters, okay? (laughs) Yeah, but not by blood. (laughs) (laughs) That's that poor anime. I just... I don't know. I feel like once we can get one step ahead of them, then I'll feel a little better. And I will... I'll do what I can with the sword. If you can't, don't don't kill yourself trying. I mean, yeah, I don't really want them to have it either, but... What if we just chuck it into, like... I don't know if there's, like, a lava or fire Like or Mount anything? Doom or something? Something like that. I um, mean, I don't know. I don't know the capacity. I don't know what sort of properties this weapon has. I don't know what... It would take to destroy it. Oh, but, either would be really hard to get if it's. But I have a feeling that if we intentionally destroyed it, we would not be treated very nicely. Well, we'll just make it an accident. You were good at that. Oh no. Made things look like one other thing. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. Well, sometimes better than never. Yeah. Who knows? And so her midway through this, she's like, "You're getting really wet. I'm just gonna like." nonchalantly like oh you don't have to do that rain doesn't bother me she's gonna pull the water off of you I you don't want you getting sick I literally she, lived outside like most of my life and tomorrow she has time, a cold <laughs> now <laughs> it's the time not to go back to it if I'm here you don't have to worry about it and she's just gonna like mindlessly like just keep it off of you well thanks I guess I'll have a drink that's my girl <laughs> <laughs> to tomorrow. Yeah, to uh, to potentially dying. May we go out in some fiery battle, showing Dad that he Man, can fuck off. Man, if this off. was like if this was like the last night that we were like alive, wouldn't you want to spend it better than this shit? Don't you have that really fine whiskey? I mean. Then spending time with you, the only thing I could change is if Corny was here. But then I'd have the two people I care about most here. But he's here. She'll she'll show you. Uh, he's here. He left that for you. Yep. Nice. So we're here. We're all together. I wouldn't change it. You're an interesting person, Laren. And so are you. The sisterhood. The sisterhood. She's gonna 
A few hours go by, and she's just gonna be saving water. Uh, that shifts over, and it's probably around three o'clock in the morning. We'll come back in. I'll take it. So you're probably up by now, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that shift. Okay. You're gonna get wet up there. Sorry. As you look, <laughs> it's fine. Cow is completely dry. It's fine. I have my like hood up and everything covered. Okay. Good luck. Appreciate it. Normal perception. Indeed. And everyone dies. Yeah, no, they're not one on perception. There's too much rain. I hope nothing bad happens. You right. hear... Um, Only on perception, I get that one. <laughs> you hear in your head. Lay on. Yeah. 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 I need to speak with you. <sighs> I'm just going to speak to her, yeah. You um, weren't actually considering his evil, were you? No, I just had to say whatever I had to to get him off my back. At this point, I'm not sure what he will or can do. I know he doesn't... I think it would take some stronger bond to get rid of me. To pull me out of your life essence. At this point, our souls have intertwined. Hmm. Yeah, I could feel that. But yeah, I was wondering, how are you feeling? I'm doing all right. Okay, that's good. I'm doing the more the more we uh, work together, the stronger I'll be, and the stronger you'll be. Oh, cool. That's cool. But yeah, no, I I figured you were worried about that, but no, I d- I did have to just say whatever I had to to get him off his off of our back, because at this point I'm not sure what he will do. You know. I am worried though about Cal. How so? She may be your ally, but I'm worried of how easy it is for the demons to work with her. What do you mean? I mean, she is a demon, right? And she's related to... I understand that, but we have a moral compass to follow, and if she continues to work for that side of the balance, then you may have to take action. I mean, we've helped each other out countless times. I don't... What... There is a fine line between that she's walking. And I will not have that fine line be crossed. And if need be, we will solve the problem. I don't think Kyle's an issue. She's always there to Right help. now, no, but who knows? How about we'll just cross that bridge when we get there? I'll be watching out. Okay. Liren also worries me. What, is, what worries you about Liren? The weapon she carries. The, ah, uh, that's right, it's the rapier. What's, I mean, I know it belongs to her dad. To Davilis, her, her adoptive father? Yeah. But what worries about it, with it being with her? It is a conduit. It is a, a, a way for evil to leech into her heart. I mean, considering she seems like she's doing pretty well. Yes, but just like Cal, she's walking a fine line between her end goal and revenge. Sorn is the only one other than you that I trust. I don't know. It's just, you know, they're like kind of like the first group I finally connected with. And I agree. They... But after this, we could go to... A monastery. Connect with Paylor. You'd find others who would work with you. I can't force you to do that. I don't think I would abandon this group yet. And like I said, let's just let's play it by and see what happens. Okay. I think wish. I think things will I, th- I think they'll turn out fine. We can have hope. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to watch. Alright. I appreciate it. Ooh, this is getting kind of intense. <laughs> this is not looking good. I don't watch. That's me. <sighs> Best of luck. What was that? Yeah. That is 13. Okay. Need you guys There's to stop not much 
going on out there. The, the storm feels the nice that you're in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is funny because I am too. Um, it, it's calming, especially after everything that's been ha like you've gone through and everything. You have distant family with you now. You've got the grace of literally a protector of the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> you have the rainbow a fixed bridge. hammer. <laughs> fixed hammer is the only thing standing in your way between your destiny and all around free and all around freedom is what's in the mountain range ahead. Yep. If you think I'll let you roll a religion check. I don't even know why I looked. <laughs> wow. That's a nat 20. Whoop, whoop. I wish I could get a nat 20. Oh, God of Thunder. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I check it to plus zero. Yeah, Let's see how this goes. Oh, a nat You 20. do pretty good on those religion checks. With a lot of these religion checks, yeah. Thor blesses my dice rolls to talk to him. So, you, you kind of close your eyes. Um, Way to be a watch. I know, right? I was like the same thing. Where you're like, you're I have just, to speak with you, Leon. I was you're like, oh, just no. feeling like the the sense of the surrounding storm, and you connect with it. And in front of you, as you open your eyes, is an old man, tattered cloak, hmm. cane, one eye staring at you. Grandpa, stay <laughs> <Stand> happy. <happy. laughs> Oh. Hello, all father. Hello, my child. Um, I was lucky enough to meet uh, Xander recently. He was actually asking to meet you. Uh, oh. He's I've been here for a while. You know, I was lucky we uh, crossed paths, I guess. <laughs> Fate? Is interesting, yes. There is much that fate has in store for you, my child. Thor wishes he could be here, but he is attending to some matters. Yeah, well, Defender of the Realms tends to uh, have to do well. Indeed. <laughs> Defend the realms. Well, don't tell me it was the, it's the elves again. No, actually. Oh, it's not the Dark Elves. No. That's a surprise. Usually it's them. I, he said he was doing... training. Hmm. Let's hope it's not for Ragnarok. <laughs> yes. Let's hope. Hmm. I mean, with the coming of giants here, you know, it's a little ominous. It's, it's, it's weird when it's, you know, father is like, yay, family, and I'm like... That's a sign of bad things sometimes. <laughs> well, we <laughs> do not know what fate has. Mm. All I can tell you is we have your best interest in mind. Um, if, you, yeah. if, oh. you, <laughs> if you show your efforts are true and you show Thor and myself that you can be trusted as a a protector of this realm we will gift you even greater power mm. it's not necessarily more power I seek but should that day come we will see where what is in the fates for me um, I do have a question for you. Mm. Um, in all your wisdom that you see of this realm, this endeavor to find this sword, not of our legends, but of others, do you know if it is worth our travels to get to? Yes. If... I had the chance, if I had the ability to have an, a weapon that could rip our foes asunder and eliminate them completely from the balance, Ragnarok might not even happen. So, even though it is a cycle of birth and rebirth for us, to stop the pain and misery would be worth it. 
Even if that weapon was returned to those who it is designed if to... If I can end the cycle in some way, it would be worth it. I will trust in your wisdom, then. I fear giving a weapon like that back to these creatures of Hela's birth, but... You're yeah. more cunning than you usually are. You may find another answer, but that is all I can say, my child. Be good. May we guide you. May Thor's might shine right upon you. May <laughs> Odin <laughs> give me knowledge on the path and and we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Either in this world or the next. Or the next. As he fades out. As you open your eyes and. And someone's got an arrow to my I was face. like, there's a bandit. Guys, <laughs> he's sleeping. <laughs> like, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so you. Um, wake up, it's. Starting to go morning, nothing happened. You get the sense that you were being divinely protected. Mm. As you see other Goliaths and people like readying the carts and getting the horses ready and drying them off and taking care of folks so they can continue the path. Mm. Francesca finally wakes up. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Where is he? <laughs> oh, He's oh, gone. Oh, thank you, Dios. Is everyone all right? Yes. You seem short. I'm tired. <laughs> I just woke up. Oh. Would you like some food? Yes. I'll get on it. Thanks. You see her, like, cast fire in her hand and pull out a skillet, just, like, cook in her hand. Oh, man, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I wish I could have fire come out of my hand. Pretty sure you can. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I mean, outside of, like, you know, that thing where, like, you know, I do the rebuke. I mean... I mean... <laughs> just a spell. Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't know if I can do that. Have you tried? How do you know if you have not tried? I mean, how do I try? Oh, oh you only do teach you. Well, I mean, I just... Uh... Well, my ability is a little more innate. But, uh... I mean, obviously. I mean, I just recently kind of got into this magic thing. I don't know what I can and can't do yet. Well, um, I mean, you might. I don't. I don't know if you can do what I do. It depends. But uh, I mean, you could potentially change some things. I mean, you could make this taste really bad. You could make this taste really good. Could I make a specific person's food taste really bad? I mean, technically. Right. Could you make something for Jerun? <laughs> oh, this is a tiefling that <laughs> doesn't like, learn. What would you like me to make him? <laughs> I hear this and like, yeah, oh, I egg. see I why. Eggs and ham. You know what? I'll save this thought. Okay. <laughs> I understand now. We'll see. So we'll use it as a celebration. Okay. That yeah. works. We win. If we make it, hopefully we do. We will. I'm only saying that because I'm not drunk. <laughs> Got this. So, sober cow is more pleasant cow? No. <laughs> oh. Is any cow kind of really sad. pleasant right. cow? There's well, no such um, thing. exactly. <laughs> she makes food just like every other morning, um, and you continue on. Around two thirty in the afternoon, you start to see the 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 gates of the what used to be the front of the civilization. In, the, in your readings, you know it was deep within the mountain range was the, the heart of it, but this was the protector so for things to go in and out. So this is kind of like the front fortress. Perception check from here. Uh, 25. You see it is within the distance you have and everything you can tell it's White Town. You see the White Town flag. Uh, you see you put 
individuals, well, you can tell with kind of like the motion from, I mean, you're far away. But with the spyglass that Devin has, um, you see people, individuals, like, pacing along the, the like, top rail, and not rail, but top, um, part, part of the fortress, and then also, like, they're in their individual towers with portcullises. Um, you also see, uh, an, a group doing a perimeter check that are somewhat close to you. I'm gonna let everyone know. Everybody know. There's a perimeter group doing a perimeter check. Do, do we let we are, like, do we let um the postman know? Yeah, we he, are you up? Have, we should have the postman handle this. Well, I was gonna go with the postman, so yes, yeah. we should let them Maybe know. So okay. We're not uh, trying to be sneaky here. Yeah, I you say send them a message. Walk straight up or something. Send the postman a message. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, hang on. Like take out my little copper wire. Like I'm gonna need more of this pretty soon. <clears throat> postman. Good morning. Hello. Hey, friend. It's Cal. <laughs> First off, it's the afternoon. Hello. Same thing. <laughs> Any time can be morning when you just woke up. Yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> Um, wait, <laughs> like, actually you are, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is going to question um, that. Um, <laughs> so we are approaching coming up on the White Town encampment. Mm-hmm. Uh, best suggestion, would it be better for you, me, and maybe a couple of your guys to approach them? Or what do you think? You're saying that we're getting close to the gates? Or? Y- yeah, to the, to the, in the White Town. Are they spotted us? I do can't be certain that they haven't. We're a very large caravan. There's a chance I know that they have some scouts. <laughs> you hear... <laughs> you see he's out now. Um, he's wearing his full, like, samurai with his long on his... Well, they're like, going to be like, so are we ready to do this? <laughs> I'm going as a force of dominance. Okay. Pulls out that. I'm going as the mouthpiece. That worked. The bottle. That's great. So, uh, I'll have two of our. We'll go in a group of four. Works for me. Just uh, alert the group if need be. That's what I got this for. Gotcha. Well then, um, should we go talk to the part of the group over there heading towards us? I think that would be a good place to start. All right, and that's a good place to end. So, oh, I keep sorry for the technical difficulty right at the end. Literally 10 minutes from the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. We'll pick this up uh, next Friday. Let me check to make sure when exactly. So we'll be here for sure next Friday, but the Friday after the 16th, we're doing a performance check. So we're going to, that'll be actually a pretty good, pretty good, like, tiny place to stop with next time. Yeah. So... Make sure to uh, follow us here and subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, I'll let Tristan give those reminders once again what's coming up. Monday, roll call on YouTube. Posting of this video. Wednesday, detention, talking about druids. Thursday will be roll for bluff, talking about this episode. Then Friday, we are playing again on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash DD roll call. So thank you guys once again so much for being here. We hope you guys enjoyed and have a good time. If you're watching this in the future, Thanks for rewatching the videos. Means a lot. Well, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.